Yes, I feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. How y'all doing today? Some couple of socks. Hi, 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 here on Double Toast. I'm Pastor Corey Coleman. Oh, black and tan. How you doing? <laughs> Mark Thomas. Man, I like that. Let it, now, have I seen that sweater before? You may not have. I, I put it up for the winter, and then it got cold again. Oh, it should and, be. And I, I didn't wear it this year, so. It got cold just one day, one so you pull it out. Yeah, one right, more day. Right. So you get stylish. Oh, Rabbi Shalom, Rabbi Hemendinger over here, the bone digger. Back <laughs> with a bundle of bones. Yeah, people, how y'all doing? Welcome to the show, everyone. Dabby, dabby, do. Dabby, 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 dabby. To you too. How you doing? What's going on, everybody? Oh, Mark, somebody sent me a video of you starting trouble. <laughs> no, yeah, sometimes I get out of control. Right? Yeah, <laughs> dabby, dabby, do. yeah, I think that was you. <laughs> oh, folks. Sunday service here for you, everybody. This is the show where we catch up on things from the week. Put it up in a nice sermon for you. Uh, that's something. All right, all right. Wow. All right. Three times. Three times in a row. Oh, that means with, that we are being blessed with love mm. by our wonderful angels out there known as, well, I'll get to you in a little bit. But this is the show. Wait a minute. Wait, that man going to say something again? Wait a minute. Now watch when I start telling him. I'm going to come back in. All right. Anyway, <laughs> this is the show. Yeah, but that. <laughs> Oh, you got me nervous now. <laughs> See, there he is. See, I told you. You got me nervous. So I'm if I can beat him to the punch. This is a show we catch up on all things from the week, whether it be a review, a show, or, I don't know, maybe a special feature about something that happened during the week, or maybe a movie that came out, which is what we're going to do today. What is that about? Well, we'll let you know in a little bit. Oh, y'all are, oh, y'all being so kind today. Y'all being too nice today, people. Every time that man comes in with a yabba and a dabba and a do, that means that we are giving, are getting a lot of love from you, the chat man. I'm starting to OG chat and them side bitches over there. Oh, who are my lovely side bitches over here? Come, what is this? What is this? They mess with everybody in the chat today. But oh, we're Jake, all getting that. Jake is messing with Julian over here. Sony's messing with me. <laughs> Sony and Marvel messing with me, man. I'm catching it from both ends. Oh, hey, at least we're getting some love from uh, Koki over here. Koki says, we're just some gigolos <laughs> out looking for hoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm slowly starting to understand, Marm, why you don't like Kobe. <laughs> yeah, man. Kobe boy. Get it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm going to let you know, they're going to stop. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, you might want to just ignore him. Yeah, you, you let him know he touched a nerve. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm just letting him know. This is going to keep going now, man. Shit, how, he ain't how, gonna have time for me and Billy. <laughs> no. How many years has he been messing with you with chicken? Oh my god. <laughs> when he locks on to something, he don't let go. He he beat me to submission. I don't even get mad no more. <laughs> yeah. Kogi is a goddamn pit bull of these memes over here, man. Once he gets his teeth into you, don't let go. <laughs> and the meme came. He says, hey, man, you just got to, like Martin, you just got to let it go, man. Yeah, yeah, but I can't, Martin can talk about Popeyes. Certain things I can't legally talk about. <laughs> you don't have to say nothing. Yeah, I guess I don't. Yeah, it's not illegal. Yeah, yeah. Focus saying it for you. Let <laughs> him be your mouthpiece. <laughs> Well, Koki knows I'm zero in that one thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> Koki opening Photoshop. Yeah, but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> right the knuckles. <laughs> oh, y'all. Oh, ignore that man behind the keyboard. <laughs> Koki, he's, he's just he's just being Koki. 
my man in Japan, Koki. We we got to do a show in Japan just so we can meet this Koki. <laughs> oh, I met Koki. Yeah, Koki. Nothing gets Koki down. Koki's the guy that get up. Uh, he's the one that passed out drunk mm-hmm. and then got mugged and lost his girlfriend yeah. on the same night. Yeah. <laughs> so ever since then, he's been taking his vengeance on the world. <laughs> one meme at a time. He probably got mugged by somebody he did a, made a meme of. <laughs> you know what he did? He just went back and made a meme about him. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, that's G. Colby messing with me right there. Oh, G. Colby ain't nobody. No, he <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Give it time. We're breeding our own supervillain. Exactly. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna need something. We got all the Sinister Six up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for Sony stuff. <laughs> all right, usually the cool slayer is up in here. Drew still eating that. Drew ate that. Hayes Plaza. He says Koki has an apartment in Japan with photos of double toasted plastered all over the wall <laughs> with strings connected to each other. Of their perfect memes. Um, oh, wait, wait a minute. Is this look, Gary? Look, Gary says, Man, I gave up on Corey trying to pay attention to me. Oh, don't be like that, little Gary. I see you right now, little bitch ass. Anyway, who else we got up in here? I'm messing with you. You're good. You're good with me. What's your name again? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I'm messing with you, little Gary. Great to have you up in here, little Gary. How long you been in here? Uh, actually, have you been here for a while? You know, I probably didn't see you because your letters are dark and I can't read it sometimes. Uh, Kyle, Kyle, what is this? Kyle Granham is up in here. Spidey Asense is here. Green boys, they're up in here. G Major, Raja, nine oh seven. Disney Princess, Black Dog, Key Jetter. Anybody else I haven't noticed before? Ace of Card is in here. I know I've said your name before. Here's one I don't think I've said before because this sounds crazy. Old Urkel <laughs> is up in here. That's a new one. That is, a, is that a new one? And Art of Moss is here. Art of Moss did a great, I man, he did some great art for us to be in L.A. For our show. Yeah. For, he did some great art for, oh, our, oh, for our show in it. LA. Yeah. Uh, the only problem is it looks like we're in Miami. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, palm trees. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, are, are we just like crocking and tubs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, because the artwork is amazing. It's amazing. I was just like, and I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, I said, I love this. And I looked closer and I was like, oh fuck, wait a minute, we're in LA. Not in Miami. At oh. first, I was like, because I said to myself, Man, this is great for our show in Miami. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Fuck, we're doing this in L.A. I said, hey, man, could you just go back and just do everything over here? <laughs> Can we see it? Yeah, I'm looking forward right now. It's amazing, man. It's, it, it's, it's lovely. He did. Let me just say this. The artwork is so good that he convinced me that we were going to be in Florida. Well, I guess we got to do a show there now. Well, you know what? You saved that. That's the thing. Save that, and we use it for when we do a show, a show in Florida, which we will. I'm thinking about doing it in Miami this time. Yes, yeah. because we were in Orlando before. But, do, but we were supposed to be in Miami, and and we had to cancel that one. Yeah, we did. Let me see here. Art of Moss. Where did but you? Maybe the two shows were just feeding, oh feeding off each other. Hold on. He. That's right. He. Uh, he said, "Don't show anybody." No, 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 no. He, I, Art of Moss. You don't mind if I show it. And uh, thanks to you, now we have to do a show in Miami because we don't want your artwork to go to waste. No, what happened is uh, he texted it to me. Huh? So let me actually see if I can mail this to myself because, it, man, I love it. I love it so much. But let me mail this to myself, email this to myself. Oh, yeah, show you. definitely Miami. I can see why you think that. Yeah, yeah. You, you see what I'm saying, right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, let me... Uh, See if this comes through, and uh, so he can kind of see it. But I'm going to show this to everybody out there. Let me see. Uh, is it popping up? Uh, it probably is going to take a little time for it to come through. There it is, right here. So I'm going to actually download it so I can give it a give it a screen of its own. <clears throat> and Art of Moss, who has done a poster for us before, did this amazing piece of artwork of us for our L.A. show, where somehow we were heading to L.A. and got lost and ended up in Florida. <laughs> oh, You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that is straight up Florida. <laughs> right. Like, there's nothing L.A. about it. 
Uh, Except the palm trees, but the palm trees are Florida. <laughs> you even got like the birds from like the, from the swamp in the background. Right, right. <laughs> the beach. You yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's got me wearing that's that's a Cuban drug dealer's costume. Yeah, and, and yeah. You're wearing a Tommy Brissetti t-shirt or shirt from Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the. Uh, yeah, man, this is. <laughs> yeah, there's just no way around. It's just, it's like, and I tried to, I tried to squint and shrug my shoulders. I said, maybe I do this. I can see a little bit, but I couldn't. <laughs> you got my cocaine, man. <laughs> it, but see, the, the it's it's amazing. It looks. Yeah, I yeah. almost want to cancel the show in LA and do it in Florida now because the, the the artwork is so cool. We can still honor the tickets. Yeah, we can just, <laughs> exactly. We could just steal everybody's money, and run to Florida. Yeah, it's on you to get to, get to Florida. <laughs> yeah, man, I think we're going to end up going to Miami because of, because of this artwork right here. We got you back there looking straight up like a, a cocaine king. Yeah, man. exactly. And for a second, I thought you had a gun in your hand, that building. That I know, I know. <laughs> I don't. Wait a minute. Yeah, what, what is that? Were you cracking your knuckles or are you holding something? <laughs> uh, it's morphing. Yeah, let me see. I think I'm about to do a line of cocaine for my hand. <laughs> hey, you know where to get the good stuff. Yeah, he just bought it from you. I think I'm counting my money to buy cocaine from you, Mark. Jeez, look at Mark's penguin hands in his pocket. God damn. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can play some major pocket pool with that. <laughs> oh, but it's, man, it's, 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 it's great. Hard. Everybody's hands. Yeah, no, 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 no. All right, It's amazing, man. Yeah, boy, this is a straight up drug deal going on right now. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> look, I'm counting my money, trying to look and see if nobody's watching. Like, you, you reaching could, in to get the cocaine? You could possibly be undercover. Me, not at all. Oh, no. <laughs> It, it actually looks like I'm like I'm trying to hide my wire from you. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> like I'm actually undercover. I'm trying to like what, say that again, Martin. You got the you got the stuff, man. <laughs> and I like that you guys have matching watches. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, well, I, you know, I, I had that's how I related to him when I infiltrated his ranks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we oh, have the same yeah. watch. You got the same watch, man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, he says the next sketch will be more LA. No worries, y'all. Okay, okay. I, I trust you, man. Well, I'm glad you showed me this shit when you finish it. <laughs> nah, don't get me wrong, man. It's amazing. We'll just keep this. Tell you what, I'll start inquiring about doing a a, a Miami show uh, sometime you know, later this year, and we'll just kind of make this our official piece of art. So you just keep that right there. That'll that'll definitely work. So, uh, and we figured all out. Thank you, though, man. Thank you for doing this. It's very nice. This is why communication is key, boy. I cannot look at that piece of artwork without hearing the Miami Vice thing. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? <clears throat> I, I got something better. I got something better, man. Uh, when, uh, God damn, now I really, now I really want this, uh, I really want this poster to work somehow. Let me see here. Let me see here. Uh, <laughs> you hear? You hear? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me you don't hear that when you. Oh yeah. Oh man, we gotta use it. <laughs> that poster comes with that song right there. <laughs> I gotta get to that part. Where's that part at? Oh, I love that part right there. <laughs> oh, shit, we need to make a. We need to animate this poster, right? You can see it like getting closer. Yeah. Things are separated so they're moving at different rates. Oh, I, I thought I'm like. Last cocaine coming in right here. The birds flying yeah, by. Got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some flamingos in there. 
<laughs> oh. Everybody knows that part. Yeah, you can see people gearing up for it. The, the hair start raising on the hands. Oh. They, they get the air drum arms ready. Oh, yeah. uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can feel it, man. <laughs> Loading your hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We'll make it work one way or another. Oh, hope everybody's doing well today. Welcome to the show, everyone. We've named some of y'all out there. Uh, I like brand, what was that? Night Wings. I like him. He said, song goes hard. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> I just, man, I just saw this in a bar. I was at a bar watching uh, that fucking scene right there of The Hangover where they walked in on Mike Tyson. Uh -oh. and he was <laughs> <-tum> -tum again. <laughs> I love it. I love this part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forgot what bar was at, but they had the sound on. Uh -huh. And I was, yeah, we stopped and started watching it, man. Uh, and he did he, what, did he punch one? Yeah, yeah, he punched <laughs> Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Mike Tyson, he's pretty cool. I thought he was mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that scene. Hango was a fun movie, man. Yeah. That first one's great. Yeah, that first one. Them, what, how many more did they do? Three, two. Yeah. Did they do three? Yeah, they did three of them. There's a hangover oh, four? Three, three all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They three all together. There's not a hangover four, right? No, no, no okay. No, I was about no. to say. John Goodman's in hangover three. That's right. He shares that a monkey wearing a dress is in two, right? That was a three. <laughs> yeah, no, that's two, the monkey. Yeah. yeah. The monkey was hot. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but uh -huh. I third one, I think midway through, everybody was like, can we stop this? Yeah, we we all got hung <laughs> hangover from this shit. Your boy Slaughter said, I'd hit Zach up an ass. <laughs> I mean, he was super annoying in the movies, but that was the point. Yeah. Yeah. One of the actors was saying that he would be down to do a fourth hangover. Man. Uh, was it Doug, the one he left on the roof? No, no, it was <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> I wish. No, what's his name? Uh, uh, the, the Rocket Raccoon. Um, oh, Brad, Bradley Cooper. Bradley, Bradley Cooper be down for a Bradley Cooper said, man, if he asked me, I'd do it. Bradley Cooper got, he got better shit to do. I'm going to tell him that right now. Don't you go do no the guy yeah. that was hangover movie. You got to direct in good movies. Don't you go and do that shit. Yeah, he gets a blank check now to do whatever the fuck he wants. He's like, oh, hangover four. You know what? I want to see him direct the hangover four. <laughs> now that could be interesting. Well, it was, I just saw him in an interview and he said it was three prestigious movies he had done. Uh, I, I think one of them was, uh, American, uh, what was that, uh, with David O. Russell? Oh, yeah. Uh, American Hustle. Yeah. And it was two other big movies <laughs> he was known for. And he said, doing the voice of Rocket Raccoon paid him more than all three of those put together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, God, you got that right, it did. <laughs> Shit, nobody want to go see the mother movies. They want to see a talking <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do we get, uh, do we get hangover to a matinee? I know the third one sucked. Yeah, uh, I don't know what we did with the second. I don't know what we did with the second one. The second was was one of those like, oh, uh, this is kind of a lesser remake of the first one. Yeah, yeah. we're just yeah. going over the same territory. Yeah, but I mean, probably was still fun. But then we like the third a bit one more extreme. Fun, that oh shit! All right, y'all, how y'all doing? It's good, good to have everybody here today. Oh, let me just get something prepared right here, and then we'll be able to move on to this show. Let y'all know what's happening. We got some good plan for y'all today. It's gonna be fun. I'm telling y'all, just sit back, and enjoy yourself. Uh, let us let us do the work for you today. You know what? You earned us today. You earned a good time. You know, we've been working hard all week, playing hard this weekend. Some of y'all hung over. <laughs> you know, let us help you relax. Man, help me relax. I can't get my shit to work. Well, all these computers hate me. All of them. No, no. One Every single in, last one. No, one know. computer in this house want to do right. <laughs> Not one. Your children. Yeah, it is like that. Goddamn phone ain't working half the time. Google don't. Google's late. This is technology, man. Yeah. My, 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 shit, my, my phone, my reliable phone, now with certain charges, it doesn't want to charge anymore. Really? Yeah. And I thought it was all of them. I was like, great, the port's messed up. But then I put in a different charger, went fine. Yeah, see? It all hits at one, too. They all decide to just gang up on your ass. Yeah. Google, Google takes his 
Uh, her, I got a chick's voice on my Google. She, she takes us sweet time cutting on lights. I used to be so <laughs> proud. Used to come in and press people. Hey, hey, Google, turn on the bedroom. And now that bitch says, all right. <laughs> She's like, I'm on my break. Yeah. <laughs> You could actually see the, the speaker sitting there smoking a cigarette. I'll get to it. <laughs> Do it yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, now? <laughs> well, my nephew, he had some chicks that worked for him, like my Google. <laughs> he had, I don't need to talk about it. It's so, it's so bad. But my nephew had a, a restaurant for about a week. Oh. <laughs> it's a, restaurant it's, business is hard, man. It's, it's, I know it's hard. hard. A week. Seven, okay, I'm lying. He had it for. I don't even know if he made a year. I, I I even told him. I said, man, don't you want to try a food truck first? No, it's my dream to have my own restaurant. So he opened up that restaurant. Now I'll be I'll be honest with you. I'm not saying this because he's my nephew. He cooks very well, and the food was very good. I never had it, but I remember my, my my cousin told well my cousin told me, uh, "Hey, cuz my cousin uh, uh, Gary, cousin Gary, he's yeah, cause Gary said, uh, yeah, he said, yeah, cuz I want all that food. Food was good. I went off a few times. I tried to get him some business, but that boy didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> he did. Like, That's my cousin. <laughs> yeah, he just he just ran all over him, cuz. I was like, oh, what happened? And my sister, because I asked my sister, I said, what, what's going on with, with the restaurant? She finally told me. She said, yeah, he, so he had these girls that worked there. And he tried to tell them what to do. And they'd be like, yeah, whatever. We'll get till we ready. <laughs> so, it sounds like an episode of Bar Rescue. Yeah, yeah. it was just, you know, oh, Shin King could rescue this shit. Well, a lot of times he can't. Yeah. But, but when he has the, the secret footage, his, yeah. his girls tweaking on, on top of the bar and, yeah. and, and, and drinking and giving drinks out to everybody. Yeah. No, this was a, I mean, you know, any on Bar Rescue, they need to bring in a mortician for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let that shit die. You bury that shit. <laughs> he said he tell them what to do, and they'd be like, "Yeah, I get to it," and I uh, get mad at too. Yeah, we we get to it. We we get to it. We go all right. We doing something, and he then he had to go put his head down and get on the phone. Hey, mama, can you come down here and tell these girls to listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> his, his mama, hey, that my cousin. I hate. I mean, my nephew. I hate to talk about him, but it's just funny. But he's grown. Yeah, grown. He's like uh, almost thirty years old. Did, 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 did your sister handle it? Cause she's scared. Yeah, she came in there and yelled at him. Yeah, it's not him. He went in there. Uh, y'all, y'all, y'all need to wipe the tables. Cable cut. Yeah, uh, yeah, we get into it. All right, we doing something. And he going to bed. Oh, okay. Well, y'all can just we get into it. All right. Okay. All right. Whatever you can. And go to bed. <laughs> Mama, uh, they, they they ain't doing what I tell them to do. They ain't listening to me. You can you come down here and tell them to wipe the tables. <laughs> I had to call my tell them to wipe the tables, and she get down there and bust the door open. What the hell y'all doing? Just sitting around. You tell me to wipe the goddamn tables. Wipe the tables. And then yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Nicole. <laughs> That shit was sparkling. That shit was clean. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's in the background. Yeah, what my mom said. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the moment they, they, you know, I knew the moment they were waiting for my mom, for my sister to leave, because I knew they were looking at him like, we're going to fuck with your ass when you come. <laughs> and sure enough, the moment that, they, that she left, they just went back to doing that lot of gag and shit. <laughs> yeah, your mom ain't here now. <laughs> he had to go in the back. <laughs> that boy, 28 years old, to call his mama. <laughs> So, so he hired like his friends or something? <clears throat> no, he's a girl. Why the fuck didn't he fire them? Uh, well, he did through his mama. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. His um, because my he, sister told me she, she they fired one of them because uh-huh. she she came in there and, and 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 she and she said if he has to tell you one more time to do something, that's it. I want to come back down here and. She left and went back to bullshitting. She came back that <laughs> afternoon. That oh. lady, she came back and said, I told you, you thought I was playing. Get your shit and go. Get out. And they said the girl was crying. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I need this job. You didn't need it when you weren't listening. Get the fuck on out of here. <laughs> and everybody else is kind of like, oh, fuck. I guess I better listen to him. Yeah, that, that is a tactic that you got an unruly staff. You come in and fire one person right off the bat. And everybody else goes, oh shit! Yeah, man, they mean it. So they weren't scared of my of my nephew. They were scared he's gonna call his mama. Uh-huh. <laughs> so from that point forward, all he had to do was like, you need to clean that up. 
Restaurant. Yeah, yeah. So the shit, uh, yeah, it bombed, man. Yeah, he, he needed a manager. Yeah, he needed, yeah, he needed his mama, <laughs> yeah. who couldn't be there all the time. He, she was telling him, she's like, this, I can't be here all the time, all right? Get your shit together. <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> and the moment they leave, they wouldn't do shit. <laughs> that's a lot of shit to do. Like, normally they have someone who runs the kitchen yeah. and then someone who runs the front of the house. Yeah. Having the kitchen run front of house, that's a joke. Yeah. No, he he uh it was it wasn't like uh it wasn't like a restaurant you see in the bear or something, you know. It was, it was uh it was like one of those uh strip mall, you know, restaurants. Yeah, like you know, like 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 a place you go in to get sandwiches, but his thing was like uh That sounds like the bear. Uh, but the beginning. The, the first season. Yeah, the first season. So it was a place you but he did uh rotisserie stuff. Okay. And the food was actually I hear it was it was great, man. It, he even got a write up in uh in uh uh one of the Houston papers, man, about he, he got a good review in his restaurant. Wow. Yeah, all that, <laughs> and he couldn't. But he didn't understand. Like, it's not the food. Yeah. It's the you. You ever have anybody in the restaurant business that you know? My about? parents. Your parents. Oh, so you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, my parents had a restaurant in D.C. called the Plutocrat, and they got out when they were able to break even. They're like, all right, fuck <laughs> this. Yeah. Yeah. No, he he didn't understand. Restaurants are not about the food. It is about the food. But you, you, the, you know your every everything else, like how you manage it, you know, uh, anywhere from the ambiance of the place to how you even like manage how many people you come in and have leave. You know, how, whether you want to be a lunch uh, restaurant or a lunch and dinner restaurant, he didn't have any of that figured out. Because at first he tried to be all of that shit, and then yeah. he had to re- reduce it to lunch, and then it came down to I don't want this shit no more. <laughs> he says I never want to. I, ne- I did for a while. He's like I never want to eat at. A, I never want to eat at a restaurant again. <laughs> And they, they, that restaurant beat his ass. <laughs> the restaurant industry is ruthless. Yeah, and I told him. I was, I, I, I even told him, man. I, I hate to say I told you, but I told you to start up a fucking uh, food truck. But it was his dream, though. Of course. Yeah, he turned to a nightmare. Did <laughs> you <laughs> think he's waking up at night? <laughs> ah, no, no! Order up! I'm not in the kitchen. <laughs> you, see him, you see him quietly asleep and come to his door. Order up! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Clean the table. <laughs> Clean the table. One more two. Ah! <laughs> Table three order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, restaurant nightmares are real. It, it happened to me for a long time because I was a server. And just like I would, I would wake up, be like, "Oh no, I forgot about table seven and then I oh, wake yeah. up, be like, "Jesus." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No man, I, I I worked in the kitchen. Shit, I'm and I'm on. I'm gonna tell you something, man. I understand when people like. Well, you you're eating some shit that's probably dropped on the floor or something. Cause uh, shit, well, I did that one time. <laughs> I dropped some shit on the floor and I cooked it because they would think it was it was it, it was driving me crazy, man. It was like we I was a delivery driver for fajitas, um, and they and we drove all around Waco. Now Waco ain't that big of a town, but when you deliver fajitas everywhere, it's pro, it's pretty fucking big. All right, I mean going everywhere. In fact, sometimes we would take off and just disappear for forty five minutes and just say, "Well, man, we, I had to drive all the way across town." Oh, I mean, I took some fajitas home and to my father because I so some chick. I was I was so frantic trying to deliver. We were short staffed. I was trying to deliver like six boxes of fajitas one night. I finally went to Baylor campus and tried to bring up a box, and the woman was already the girl was mad. She's like, finally. And then she looked at the box and saw it was the wrong order. She pushed that shit back in my hands and slammed it on me. And I was like, well, guess I'm eating this. Shit. <laughs> I took it all to my dad. I said. I said, I got these fajitas. Can you just give me the money for them? He's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He said, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll pay for them. And we said, shit, like we sat there, ate together. Yeah. I was gone for about an hour. <laughs> Went back. Because <laughs> I was, I was, I was being crazy. That's being driven crazy. But, uh, man, what the, so we was, uh, the kitchen was so, was so short staffed one day that the cooks were, were, uh, short staffed. And they and and they were not cooking our food on time. Yeah. And, man, I just got nervous. And I, so I had to go in there and cook, uh, my own fajitas. 
and I, I was trying to get these orders ready. We had a, they were piled up in the back, and we would all of us we were flinging that meat down, and one of them just dropped on the floor. And I just like, oh, and I stopped, just panic. Just, just three second rule, put that shit back on, <laughs> put that shit back on the stove, and just like, well, nobody's gonna notice. Okay, <laughs> well, at least you 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 cooked it some. Yeah, no, something. I didn't. Yeah, I cooked. <laughs> I spit on anything like that. I, but I was, you know, I didn't. I didn't like. You, they don't want you to waste any food and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I know. I know. I know it's wrong. I know, but man, you know, shit. Being in that kitchen, this is like, yeah, that shit was. Uh, it was. I get what you're saying. Like, I, it was, I, at its worst, it's, it's nightmarish. I I've had worse moments. I was more embarrassed with something I did. I once straight up served someone moldy bread. I felt <laughs> I felt horrible about it. I I ran basically like in the morning at this breakfast restaurant. Yeah. I would do the window where there was a donut machine, and I would serve coffee. I would do the bar. And I would seat people, and I would run the food, God and, damn. and the man band, <laughs> and the cold bar. I would have to do stuff. I would have to toast the bread. Obviously, I wasn't looking at it, and then I served the moldy bread, and I was just like, "I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll call the manager because he wasn't there. I, I, I was the <laughs> only person there. Yeah, like he'd yeah. let me in. I would know how to get in through the other restaurant next door, and I served someone moldy bread, and they got really mad. And they got their check comps, and they still tipped me. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I thought this was one of those. I served them the bread. They ate it, and, no. and that's why I felt bad. Okay. No, they what? saw it. I just didn't see it. Oh, you okay. didn't do what I did. I served them that meat, and they ate it. <laughs> yeah, when I worked at Sonic for, what, two weekends, there there was one point where the food, you know, it, it fell to the floor. And you know how nasty the floor is. Oh, yeah. Man, someplace like Sonic. Yeah. And that manager was just like, pick it up and put it in the <laughs> <laughs> He's just it down there. Like, but, he's like, come on, we got to get these orders out. Yeah, Jesus Christ, I I, I got to leave this job. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Hey, man, don't don't judge now, because if ain't nobody been in that position, and anybody who worked in this position can tell you that shit happens. Because sometimes you just have people breathing down your neck, and down your neck, it's yeah. pressure, and you just don't know what to do, man. Nick, uh, you on that light. I'm that light fan. Fan. Thank you, man. I'm tell you this, and we're gonna move on. You remember uh, Cisco? You remember Cisco? Yeah, Cisco Gavis. Cisco, yeah, man. We went Cisco and I. We this is. Martin, I used to do the show on the, uh, the WB affiliate here in mm-hmm. Austin, and uh, the guy produced the show. It, it was that weekend that we went to go interview Kevin Spacey. Oh yeah. We went our way back. We stopped at Sonic, and that was the, the it was the weirdest Sonic because it felt like it was it felt like a it felt like a Sonic that well where the manager had a thing for teenage boys. Oh, because it was all. It was all, all the servers were teenage boys on roller skates. <laughs> That's funny because Sonic is known for girls on roller skates. Well, it was nothing but teenage boys. Okay. I mean, they were out there gliding with them burgers too. And, and, and Cisco, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here, man? Yeah, that's it. I don't know, man. I said, man, maybe we should get the fuck out of here, man. This might be a setup here. <laughs> We might end up on a catch predators like like anything you see. <laughs> You're a burger, sir. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was gonna get the coney with cheese, but uh, what else can you offer? <laughs> Somebody said, "Was Kevin Spacey the manager?" Yeah, I was just about to say, yeah. yeah it turns out that Kevin Spacey was running the place the whole time. He just wasn't ever on interview before. He was a manager, of fucking Sonic. He got a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of patting him on the ass, he's patting him on the dick. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> no rules. Let me touch your Coney Island before you yeah. serve him. <laughs> good job. Good job. Good job, team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no wonder they had so much popular stuff. <laughs> He put the yeah, boys. You, you get real good on yeah. skates, but he was trying to dodge the whole time. Yeah, yeah. shit, they were swerving all over the place. Kevin <laughs> God, Kevin Spacey putting boys on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, they would come out there and they'd be doing twirls and shit. I was like, the fuck is going on? It's fucking Sonic, man. Because it wasn't like the boys were scared. Of they like they were happy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. almost like the ad asked for gay teenage boys to apply because <laughs> they were out there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> doing circles and shit. And like, these boys are way too happy working the fucking Sonic, man. You like working there? Yeah, it's great, but there's a high tor- turnover rate for some reason. <laughs> just says I get a bonus tonight. Be <laughs> us alone. I can't wait to see you. Hey, let's take a order to go. Fuck it. Yeah, we, we, the way, they didn't have like modified uniforms with, with shorts, did they? <laughs> 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 
Teenage boy, <laughs> goddamn shorts, call the ass. No, we wouldn't be. No, fuck no, we wouldn't. Actually, we wouldn't have been eating that. God. But we ordered our food. It was just like, it, so we ordered the food. The food got brought out. Yeah. By a boy on skates, and then <laughs> next thing we know, it was like another one. <laughs> Behind us, another one, and then another one was serving another pound. And it's just going to just like, what the fuck is happening, man? Yeah. Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, like a gang coming up on you. Yeah. So I was just, yeah, we were like, do we eat in the car? Do we get the fuck out of here? Should we go to Wendy's? <laughs> yeah, it was in Houston, man. It was the weirdest Sonic I've ever been to. I'm not trying to sound homophobic. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this, just like this manager had a thing. Something you don't normally see. <laughs> yeah. This manager's getting, dick was hard every day. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> going to work. Yeah, yeah. It's usually co-ed at best. <laughs> Most of the time, it's all girls. Yeah. And the way they would just fly it out and, you know, and like doing them tricks on us. Yeah. <laughs> like they were disco skating and shit. It's like, are these kids drugged? Hey, maybe they, they did competitions on the weekend. <laughs> Sponsored sponsor by Sonic. Team Sonic. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, don't eat it, Sonic, I'm telling you. Yeah, not that way. <laughs> nah, it's just a setup, man. I'm going to get pedophiles eating that shit. <laughs> I'll have a number two. <laughs> Hilarious. That, that's, that was the secret spot. <laughs> it's just a bunch of weird looking people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we have the Nambla gathering yeah, right yeah, here. Right. <laughs> Order the number 56. Yeah. The menu only goes up to 55. I know. I know. Order 56. You don't know. <laughs> Bring the secret sauce. It's about a chest that's worth every penny. <laughs> y'all are crazy in the chat, man. Y'all are crazy. Hi, y'all. What's going on? All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. Glad to have, bam, glad to have you here. Oh, it's going to be a fun show today. going to be fine. Bam and dandy, y'all. Oh, we got something that I think y'all gonna like to hear today. We got something nice to prepare for you, before you get to that, you know the deal, just sit back and enjoy your life. I'm so glad to have y'all today, and thank y'all, thank y'all so much for dropping so much love before the show. So many, so many subscriptions being dropped, so many subscriptions being gifted. Oh, I have anything like that today. Just what do we have prepared for you today? What sermon does the pastor go to speak about? Well, enjoy this high and sit back and go over oh, 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 oh. Today, we'll give you the reasons why Madam Webb bombed at the box office. Besides just simply sucking it, it's been a shitty movie. There's more to it than that. And I have my reasons. These guys might have some reasons too. And then we might just also get into a spoiler talk. I think uh, Julian saw it five times a year, right? Six. Six. Six people. You are the six to six over here. Oh, folks. And then we'll have whatever you bring to the show. You know how it is. You know how we do. Oh, people. I can't wait to get into it. Oh, that's me right now. I can't wait to get into it. Oh, it's going to be so much fun today. Y'all know I love y'all so much. Oh, forgot. Got it. Oh no, yo. I was gonna be crazy today. <laughs> I got a new hype train video coming in April. I heard. Uh how y'all doing That's over the hype? There? Yep, that is. Word on these streets has it that there's a new hype train video on the way. And let me take this uh, scroll off before it just breaks everything we got here. Uh, you know, I'm going to put the chat up for a little bit. Hope that doesn't break anything. So y'all can see yourselves talking. Yeah, that'll be fine. Now, take it off and get into our main subject here. I'm so scared to put y'all up and to put you on YouTube because YouTube is crazy. Yeah. They may say something, YouTube will see it and take our video down. I'm just paranoid, y'all. I would have y'all up all the time. But, but you know, unlike YouTube, I don't censor these people. <laughs> Drop all the N-words. Well, no, I know you don't. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Oh, oh uh, Martin, you've been in that Wendy's. Not with that Wendy's, but you've been in that Sonics before. 
Yeah, you, you used to work there, right? Kogi? <laughs> <laughs> Kogi did that in a matter of minutes, man. Jesus. We just got to talking about this. <laughs> man, you look good, though, yeah. man. You got some nice legs. Yeah, back in the day. Oh, your manager's watching. <laughs> Get back to work, Thomas. <laughs> I'll come on and grab that dick again. <laughs> Damn, Koki. Koki, come on, man. Let it rest for at least 40 hours. Come on, man. Chew your food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shoving them hot dogs man. in his mouth. Man, we, it hasn't been 10 minutes yet. No. 10 seconds. Yeah. 10 seconds. Wow, well, Koki's a mad genius, somebody said. <laughs> Green boy. Koki's a mad genius. He's crazy. It's a madhouse. Oh. Oh, well, very good, Koki. Very talented man. Um, Mars is a talent to put to waste, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> Only he uses his powers for good. <laughs> for anything useful. It's just evil. Evil. Evil would be fine. <laughs> I like the way you skate in that hat. It never comes off, man. No. Uh, it's a part of my skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see this video right here. Somebody. Somebody said, Martin causing trouble in the airport, man. <laughs> he said, said naked, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, and hey, man, Martin, you, you got, you got way too many variants and doppelgangers out there, man. It's just y'all used to pick on me about that. Martin is infinite. That's true. <laughs> yeah, from everywhere. If this is a video where I really didn't think you were, like I said, is he out of town causing trouble? <laughs> I had to look twice, man. <laughs> and I'm going to say it to you. I just want to go home. I want to go. I'm going. To and this is that I'm talking shit because I, I'm not going to stand for it. I just want to just hear me out. I just want to go. Okay. Can, you can you listen to me? I'm not getting up. I had to get in. I thought you got drunk. <laughs> yeah, I said, Mark, what did you do? That was me the last time I was trying to leave New York. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did have trouble leaving New York last time. Boy, talk about escape from New York. They were not going to let me go. Man. It, Better be glad that they catch you like this in New York. One more drink and Martin would have been like this. Holy shit. I'm talking shit. <laughs> well, look, they're not going to fire you. Hey, hey, don't tell me to stop talking. That ain't how this okay, works. Okay. okay. No. You're getting okay, off on the wrong foot. You're okay, not going to well, check I'm me. I'm no, I'm, you, don't, I'm, I'm, you don't talk to me? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, that's okay, not how okay, this going to okay. go. Thank you, man. Hey, yeah, I'm going to get Man, I'm going to tell you something. Everybody yeah. talks about the cops. And the, yes, the organization is crooked, but... Individual cops, there are some good cops out there, man. These cops got patience with this. Brand. They do. Every so often, you see a video where they're, they're patient. They, they, then, and then the next day, you see one where the cop is, is shooting up the neighborhood because an yeah. acorn fell on a car. Oh, yeah. No, I, I no, that's the thing. That's a different cop, though. There's some, stu yeah, some stupid ass cop heard an acorn fall <laughs> and shot at this guy. Now, I would laugh because he missed the guy. Yeah. But yeah, he they, yeah he knew he was in trouble. He resigned. Yeah. I mean, he, he's shooting at the guy already in the car. <laughs> and Bullets are flying through the neighborhood. <laughs> that was real? I thought that was just like a meme. No, no that's, that's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah, I mean, him yeah. quick, like, shots fired, shots fired. Bam, 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 bam. A goddamn, yeah, a, a, a squirrel just said, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> we got a squirrel who dropped his lunch on 6th Street. Yeah, yeah. Squirrel up there fucking with the, hey, man, watch this. <laughs> hey, that squirrel's like, like, oh, shit. I'm going to get in all that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, don't fuck. In fact, if you look at the background, there's a squirrel walk up. Hmm. <laughs> but, but yeah, this guy right here, man, my man is patient with this dude. Yeah, even my, even the dude that's getting like the the one that, that told him don't don't talk to me like that. Even he gave up and just kind of like yeah, this guy. He's yeah, drunk. yeah, this guy's drunk. Yeah, he's out of he's, he's out of his mind. But what am I doing? Let I just want to go back to Seattle. Okay. How are you going to buy a ticket okay, when it denies? No, I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> Okay, so what's going on today? I want to go home. Okay, you, yeah, we, we understand that. So, mm -hmm. me and my wife. No, okay. Why, why are you why? being loud? It's no, because, because somebody go come. I'm not going to let nobody. I know how far. Even when you know somebody drunk, when they can't finish a sentence. Can't finish a sentence. Can't even think of the sentence. <laughs> 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 my man is he's going off and everybody's tired of his shit he does this shit at home because his wife said she said take him oh did she 
Yeah, his wife like that's, that's what he get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his wife is like, cause they, they came to the wife, cause they, you know, listen, man, they gonna talk to you. It's only a matter of time. They just, they just, they just, they just, they just, uh, they're just amusing themselves. They're just like, yeah, how far yeah. is the guy gonna go? Because at, at, at some point, they, you know, they're gonna get to that point and say, all right, oh. sir, stand up. <laughs> True. <laughs> when they say True. stand up, you know what's happening True. next. Well, if they can talk him out. Maybe he won't be so animated and resistant when it's time to take him away. And they're yeah. in the airport. They don't really want to cause a scene if they don't have to. Yeah. But it, it, you push it enough. Yeah. Like, well, there's no choice now. And that's exactly what you look at. They, this is the point. They're like, all right, sir, stand up. You loud. You well, being I'm not You loud. You being belligerent. Okay. Well, I'll stop oh, you. I'll, I'll sit you. here. You're disturbing the public peace. Okay. You're you disturbing you the public peace. Okay. You Stand up for me, sir. There it is. Stand up for me, sir. I can tell you what happens next. Handcuffs. Handcuffs, yeah. For what? For what? Is this yours right here? Yes. Okay, grab your, grab your stuff and walk this All right, way. we can walk. We All ain't right. got to put no cuffs on me. All right, grab your stuff and step over here for me. Over where? Over here. Oh. No, matter of fact, so I can clear this up. Uh, now, now you have a second thought. And now, is he reaching for something? No, no, okay. no. They, they ain't nothing with shit. They would have shot his ass by now. No, he, they, he trying to, they trying to get him to get his bag. Uh -huh. His bag is on the ground because uh, they're gonna get the. I think they can get the bag to his wife. His wife is just she's just sitting over there. She don't want hat. She don't want nothing to do with this. Boy, no kid. Look, like look, look. No, he's by himself. Uh -huh. She's just over there, just kind of like let this fool just, just take him to jail already. Why are you wasting time with him? Back, sir. I need a wheelchair, man. Okay. Hey, let's go. Come on, stand up first. I'll stand up. Come on, right. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. All right. I'm getting up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back. You cover me. Okay. <laughs> Brother, when you they tell you to stand up, that is the next thing that happens. Are you stupid? <laughs> Yeah. No, he's drunk. Yeah, yeah, he's stupid drunk. And here's the wife here. So he's on his way to see his grandson, which didn't happen. For his, cause he's going to see his grandson for his birthday. But this fucking idiot went to the, uh, the airport and got drunk and started talking crazy. So he never made it. But here's his wife. So, ma'am, how's this going to work? Uh, just so you know, uh, he's going to go to our holding facility. Yeah. He's going to sleep it off. Yeah. When he's sober, he's going to get released. Just as simple. That's on him. Okay. I ain't got nothing to do. I'm going to release. He didn't want to, he didn't want to cooperate with us. Unfortunately, he is belligerent. We can smell the alcohol on him. Um, that's fine. I understand he had a good night. That's what he gets. So he's been like that all day today. Yeah, and this video was, this video was 20 minutes long. This man was acting a fool the whole time. Oh, can you say that? I want to watch the whole thing. What are you saying? I'll say it to you. No. What man? Well, 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 blow me. Okay. Oh, blow me. Oh, Maybe you can put me on a plane. I'm going to say it. Jesse. Listen to me. Stay up for me. Okay. Okay. I'm I can't go to jail, man. Well, that's where you go. <laughs> uh, I think it's happening already. <laughs> well, they, they don't think about that until they go into jail. I can't go to jail. Well, too late. You're on your way. Yeah, if at any point I see three cops standing around me, I'm thinking, all right, jail is very likely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I did, but it, it's real. I'm talking to them. <laughs> they, they didn't show up to not take me to jail. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you say shit. Oh, well. Uh, Could you imagine, like, you wait to get through security I and know. then they walk you back through that and you're drunk? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's it. I feel bad for you. You're drunk. You don't have complete uh, access to your faculties yeah. and you're just trying to stumble through things, trying to make a point and you can't. You can't. <laughs> Part of your brain that might be able to talk your way out of it. Uh -huh. It's gone. That's that's way over there. Yeah, once you get revved up, you you ain't going back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah shit, just don't get fucked up at the airport, man. Reminds me of that one guy who was getting mad at the airport. He was starting to sing Eminem. He's like, Come on, take my hand, everybody. What a what was it? You haven't seen that? No. Some guy started throwing a tantrum at the airport. I could have swore that you and Oz reacted to that. Like you just started singing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, yes, we did. I remember yeah. that. Oh, oh man, one of the best. I was just telling uh, Julian about when gay guys get mad in public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was telling him, uh, 
And this happened to me. We saw a bit of this in the airport. But I was telling Julian, about it. it happened at the, at the bar, the crazy bar. Of course. I was telling Julian, uh, there's two gay guys. They were there together. It was a, it was a young guy and an old queen. And, and this drunk guy came over and started talking to them. And he was being nice. He was being very nice. And then the young guy just started talking they start talking to him, and yeah. they got into a nice conversation. <laughs> and I told June, I looked over there, and I could see that that the old queen. He was just stewing. <laughs> he would look at them. He was breathing hard, sitting up there, getting fidgety. And I, I told you, I turned around because I, I did not want to see what was going to happen next. I knew something was going to happen. Yeah. And I was talking to somebody, and behind me, all of a sudden, I just heard, you know, at the top of this man's lung. I just want you to go away. <laughs> and I said, I knew exactly who it was. That, that old gay dude back there, yeah. sure, sure yeah. enough. And they and um, and they left together because <laughs> Young was like, "What is wrong with you? Oh. I came here to be with you. I came here to be with you. <laughs> you got to pay attention to me." <laughs> and everybody just kind of like, "Yeah, get yeah, I'm out of here." <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> they had uh, two two gay guys at the airport. I wish I could find the clip. You two, and they put on a show for everybody. Mm. <laughs> he, one was was losing his shit. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know this airline fucks you and fucked us and will fuck you. And then the and then the uh, the and then the, his his partner was like, "Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Think about Shirley." Think about Shirley, and I was like, and I think of Joe with Bill. I said, Shirley's a fucking they got a little chihuahua. They got uh, home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna get arrested and not be able to go home to see your dog. Yeah, think about Shirley. Okay, stop it. <laughs> and uh, he called me after a while, but then he, he went over to the, this woman. Was just I think I think he, this woman was just watching them the whole time, and the guy went over. He's like. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I am so sorry. You know what? I see you have a little dog. I have one like that. And I just, I know that I probably made you and him nervous. And, and, the, and the woman's just like, just, 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 just go away. <laughs> and, and then he looked, he, he said, okay, fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Me <and> the dog. <laughs> Fuckers! <laughs> I said, boy, don't know, don't, don't nobody do it better than flamboyant gay dudes. Man. <laughs> I love when you fucking bitch. I love when you bring out your gay persona because you have the two fingers going. He did, it, but he did. It. You saw it. He did, he did that. Okay, fucking bitch. <laughs> and then the video cut off. I don't know where it went. <laughs> but yeah, boy, they put they put on a show. Mm. They, they that that shit was like uh. Who's that Southern playwright? Uh, uh, Tennessee, Tennessee Williams. Dude, that shit was like a Tennessee Williams play, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got to find that video and send it yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, you, you, I, you, I don't know if you've seen it. I got to send it to both of y'all. That shit had me laughing so hard, man. Oh, well, oh, what is worth that guy in the video did look like me. It fooled me at first. When I <laughs> first opened it, I was like, the fuck? Oh, okay. Man, it fooled me. And I looked over there, I saw that head and that beard, and I'm like, oh, Mark, what did you do? <laughs> no, boy, am I going to go there and get you? <laughs> I'm the friend, y'all. Yeah, hopefully that's not a canon event, Mark. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> oh, Dr. Strange, what have you done uh, now? No, man, <laughs> shit. Dr. Strange in the multiverse of Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. All right, y'all. Uh, let's go ahead and make some quick announcements and then we'll get into what we have to do today. Just in case you get in here today, we're going to be talking about Madam Web, which bombed at the box office. Now, besides the obvious fact that the movie sucked, we're going to go into some reasons why the movie bombed. There were some indicators before the movie came out. And uh, we might even get into a little spoiler discussion when it's done. Uh, I'm careful how much of a spoiler discussion I'm getting into, though, because this is one of those movies, and people have been asking us, because Morbius is doing pretty well for us on YouTube. People are like, man, you got to roast this shit the moment it hits video, all right? You don't have to wait. <laughs> yeah, right, we ready for this. Yeah, I was telling people, I was like, I don't know how it's going to go on Sunday, because I got some shit that's marinating, ready to get roasted. I'll let you run with it. Yeah, I'll let you run with it, man. You go ahead and get it all out. Get it all out your system there, Julie. Uh... <laughs> this, yes, I've never seen something like this. Just everything that's going on with this movie, I've never seen anything like this in, in, in a while, if ever. Just all the wrong, 
all the wrong things at play. Everything, all every element <laughs> is just working was working against this movie and is working against this movie. We're gonna talk about that. But before we do that, let me see here. Let me tell y'all about Double Toasted in Miami. We'll be there <laughs> at some point because <laughs> the post is made. But until then, until then, we will be in LA. Double Toasted live in LA. Do me a favor, y'all. Go to dtmerch.com. Scroll down the middle of the page until you see that banner right there. And you'll see Double Toast is indeed live in LA, Los Angeles, Saturday, April 27th, 8 p.m. show at the El Porto Theater for a night of comedy, games, and that after party for all the fans out there. Click that banner. It'll take you over to x1entertainment.com. Oh, you know what you're going to do? You can just go straight to x1entertainment.com. But when you get there, you'll see that you have the all-access VIP and general admission tickets available for you. Get the all-access and VIP, and you will be blessed with perks. And those perks include getting an early, getting a pre-show, getting a Q&A with us. Uh, we'll be partying with you. Some people will get a free T-shirt and the price of admission for all access and VIP includes the price of admission to the after party. Also get your tickets by going over to doubletoasted.com. And for all our East Coast people, we ain't forgot about you. We still love you. In fact, y'all need so much attention now that we go there on the regular. Every other month now, we're going over to the Broadway Comedy Club in New York. I'll be there on March 15th for a night of sit-down comedy back in the Red Room. 10 p.m. show. It's a very cool show, man. Uh, I do my thing, and Oz and I, we do a little bit of what up, son. And then you guys get up and you do your thing when you get up to do stand up for open mic. Uh, this is a more intimate show. It's a lot of fun. So uh, it just feels like a great way to hang with the toasties. So get your ticket now by going to BroadwayComedyClub.com or go to DoubleToastedNY.com and get your tickets today. Please and subscribe to our Twitch channel. Why you can subscribe for free if you have that Amazon Prime account and gift a sub to your fellow toaster out there. All right, y'all. Uh, I have got to pull out that humidifier mm -hmm. and get it going. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do it right now. You give that to me. I'm not gonna put it on, but I'm just gonna take it out <clears throat> while I got y'all here on the air. Hold that for you. That agua for you. Yeah, it, it, so much shit, I man. know, man. I, I, got I almost brought you some frames. <clears throat> you see, I have all these really nice drawings that people have made. I, I know. Uh, it is my plan. Maybe I'll do this tonight to just clean up in here. Like oh. this, this area right here. I got to meet somebody right afterwards, but I might try to clean up just a little bit. How long are you in town, JV? Until Tuesday. Want to hang out tomorrow? All right, I would hang out with you tonight if I didn't have to go somewhere. How late you gonna stay up tonight? Go to bed early? You don't know. I want to thank Alex. Lives here in Austin. She gave us this uh, humidifier because she heard us getting the sniffles up in here every time in here. So <clears throat> she said to just cut this on about an hour or two before the show starts, mm -hmm. and then cut it off when the show begins, so it doesn't, you know, the sound doesn't interrupt the show. But I want to thank her for getting this for us, man. That was very nice very of you. Very nice. Thank you so much. Much needed. Yeah, it is. Now, this is a good gift right here. Yeah, this is a gift that we definitely yeah. don't want but need. Yeah, when my parents were doing construction in uh, in the house, I got one of them for them because they were, there was dust just everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It helped so much. Oh, really? That's good. Oh, yeah. That's good to know. Difference. That's good to know. <laughs> thank you, Julie. All right. Oh, you know what? I was going to say, I see an outlet there. Yeah, yeah you want, you know, let's see what it sounds like. Maybe. Maybe if it's not too loud, <laughs> it's literally gonna be a voice. Hey, 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 fuck your show. Uh, yeah, let's see what it sounds like. Let's plug it in. Why not? Why not? You know how to operate those things. I don't. Press the button. Yeah. just press the button. You know, and I know you don't have an engineering degree, so I'll help you out here. Yeah, thank you, Papa. Don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, is it going? Pretty quiet so far. It's quiet pretty kid. There it goes. Yeah, pretty, pretty quiet so far. It's on. It's going. Not too loud. You think? Nah. I, what do you think? I was looking at the, the meter there. If it's picking up. I think it's picking up. Y'all hear any difference? I should ask the chat. Y'all hear any difference at all? 
Uh, I'll ask you, chat. You hear anything back there? We can't hear it at all. Nah. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Some mocha muffin man said nothing. All right, then. Well, we'll just leave it on then. And uh, all right. As long as y'all don't hear, like saying, no, we don't hear a thing. Nada. Nope. Somebody said nice. All right. Just don't end words out there now. <laughs> Nachos. <laughs> all right, then. I can feel it already. <laughs> I can breathe oh, again. All right. Somebody said drink water, Corey. I know. I lost my water cup. <clears throat> I'm so sad about that. Yeah, I got to I gotta clean up in here bad. Very, very bad. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, yeah. All right. Let me see here. What we got for you today? All right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and start. Ah, uh, has not been a good weekend. Well, Kekoolmans at gmail.com. That is K-C-O-O-L-M-A-N-Z at gmail.com. You know what? The weekend is much better now that you're here. So hit us up for any kind of questions, comments, compliments, insults, input, and er, advice. Hit us up on those social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Patreon. Oh, man. I think Saturday. Saturday is we're going to do a viewing party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get even. Uh, get it. <laughs> what we're gonna do? Oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah. So Saturday, I'll be coming in from out of town, but uh, we will do a, a, a watch party that night when I get back. So uh, look for that this week on Patreon. But if Andy does did that platform or these other platforms, type in Double Toaster. It'll take you where you need to be. Martin Thomas. You can find me on Instagram at Martin underscore No Pro. Or look for Martin Thomas on Facebook. Julie. You can find me under the name Julian Mr. Humdinger, all spelled out. Julian with an E. You can find me Julian the Dinger on Twitter. And you can also use my creator code for Fortnite or the Epic Games Store. Uh, no dog pooping, all caps, no spaces. For the next. Oh! folks and you can hit us up here in Austin, Texas. Bring your pooping dogs. Kcoolmans at gmail.com. Let us know what your plans are. We the movie just passed through. Let us know and we'll hang out with you. I just and the email came through. <clears throat> just got a refund for this. Did you? Yeah it just came through. PayPal just sent me some money. And they didn't want you to send it back. They, just, they don't want they don't that. Want this. <laughs> Man, they keep that. Yeah, that's what they get. <laughs> don't put in there open flame. Yeah, so pay. I just yeah. You know, listen. Like I said, I made a profit on that man. Uh, just made more of a profit now. <laughs> but um, you know, the company made a profit or whatever. But you know, uh, we did a video, made money off of that damn coat. But if you don't know the story, uh, I ordered this coat from uh, some website that I've ordered some stuff from before. One of the best purchases I've ever made for a piece of clothing. Uh, the, I, I received the first time I ordered that shirt. Second time, uh, not so great. Third time, they ain't even try. Fourth time, they just gave me some straight up bullshit. This is a, I ordered a coat, and I know, listen, I ordered a, a, a faux leather coat, but this ain't even close. No. Your faux leather is where, you know, it's synthetic. Yeah. This is cloth. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's just faux. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Vietnamese soup. Yeah. <laughs> this shit feels like a, like the skin of a kiwi fruit or something right there. <laughs> and, uh, and so, yeah, man, not, nothing. And it's falling apart. And it's, yeah, it was Kit Kate, man. They put this shit together quick. Yeah. And they knew they were wrong. Uh -huh. That's why they didn't try to fight right, this. So right. I, I, somebody said, man, well, you can just tell PayPal because what they did was I ordered with my card, but then they... They, they processed it through PayPal or something like yeah. that. I don't know what they were doing. But PayPal said, well, yeah, we hear about these things all the time. So listen, we'll just ask them to uh, contest this or, or give their, you know, give the argument on this. Pretty much you put in, you put in a request for a refund. They get their version of it. And some somewhere in the middle, you know, either you get a refund or a partial refund. Or if they feel like you're in the wrong, then you don't, you know, they, they, I, yeah. you know nobody, you get nothing. So... <clears throat> They said, well, we we're going to put in the request for the refund. If they don't answer by the 18th, then they just give you the money back. So today's the today's the 18th. Yeah. And I just got the email. I was sitting up here like, hey, 
your money's being refunded to you. So yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you got flakes yeah. of it on the mic and on your shoulder. Oh, right. Dude. Just, yeah, fuck you, <laughs> Dinesh. There was a dude name. It wasn't even a company. The company was called the Man's uh, Man's Outfits yeah. or something like that. But when I bought it, when I when I bought the jacket, it went to a dude named Dinesh Mokika or something like that. He's probably an eight year old kid who had to put that thing together himself. Well, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get yeah, he didn't get paid for it. And little hands worked for nothing, didn't they? <laughs> Dinesh. Now he won't get to eat because he's doing good. <laughs> Make a better fucking jacket. <laughs> think about what you did. <laughs> yeah, think about what you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't give a fuck. You know, reap what you sow. <laughs> but yeah, no, I know some Indian dude running some crazy shit. It's the drop shipping scam. Yeah, yeah, it was a, the, not not even trying to be no remotely close to what they've advertised. I like you got some fucking nerve, boy. <laughs> yeah, he sure, gets the request like they request a refund. He's like, eh. <laughs> you know what? He, he probably rips so many people off who don't fight these uh-huh. things. And he's like, eh, whatever, man. I'm making my money. Yeah, right. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Just touching it is yeah. funny, dude. It, it is. <laughs> I know. And the thing is, I didn't even really care until I, if somebody said, well, you just got nothing to lose. Just put in a request. Yeah. You know, they either say yes or no. So I did. I expected them to say, yeah, you know, nothing we can do for you, <laughs> you stupid ass. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it just came through. So, uh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, let me see here. We're about to get on to our main thing today, but somebody had <laughs> sent something. Uh, the, oh, somebody, somebody put up the video of the gay guys arguing at the airport. They found it. I'm good, Chef. Remember your girls. You don't, you don't care about the girls? You don't care about the girls? Hello, everybody. You thought I was exaggerating. <laughs> you thought I was like, you thought I was, uh, I was being homophobic. I thought I love that they're matching though. Yeah, they're like Ernie and Bert. Couple <laughs> 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 wearing stripes. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Just <laughs> American Airlines. Fuck this over. Sorry. Here we go. Listen, here I'm not kidding. Don't oh. about girls, so I want to tell you about Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. Oh, so I'll oh, say it was Shirley, but they say it's Shelby. It was Shelby. Oh, that's the two dogs. Shelby and Dolly. Saying, Shelby and Dolly. Okay. okay. Yeah, think about the girls. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is on one in that video. <laughs> Remember them. Shelby and Dolly. Remember them. Even that dog's embarrassed when <laughs> the dog's like, I don't need this. <laughs> I will not wait. I'm just trying to get home from girls. <laughs> really, really. Look, look, I have a bunch of paper dolls. Go away. Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank, who who uh who sent that over? I think it was uh Those Hunter accents, Adams. I, they sound like Alabama. Really? Yeah. Hunter Adams, thank you for sending that over, man. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the hand of truth. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I, I told you. <laughs> I told you they had that flamboyancy going on, man. Oh. Look, look, I have paper dolls. Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> 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 oh. That should be another, another new sub alert. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> they have to wear stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like he's gotta be ashamed of himself oh, for that. Looking like two eight year old brothers at a slumber party. Or something. <laughs> step this brothers, is, step brothers. This is why we need that AI technology. Just put this in there and be like make them Bert and Ernie. Yeah, yes. yeah right. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is that's why we need. Don't fear AI. <laughs> so all of them make the world better. Oh, somebody said his sailor outfits on. So oh, come on, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Every time at the airport, Bert, come on. 
No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what about the girls? What about the girls? <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for sending that over, man. Oh. <laughs> the end of that video makes me so happy. Uh, all right. Um, looking. Let's just, let's just stop. Just, let's just stop. All right, I'll just deal with it. <laughs> Fuck it, it feels yeah, good anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, concentrate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just breaks my concentration. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me cut y'all off over here in the chat. Nothing personal. Just uh, just protecting y'all against YouTube. Can you just can you, hey, can you, can you try and look this way at least? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. Ah. All right, here we go. Good girl, you settled. Nope. She re she just refuses to look that way. Mm. It always has to be right here. And it just just it's, I know. Really, look, we joke about oh man, it feels good with my penis, and I'm like, man, this <laughs> no, this feels weird. It just it just feels weird. It feels gross. I love the dog, but god damn, I gave a bad thinking that it would help. I'm gonna start I'm telling you, I'm gonna start dipping these paws in goddamn habanero sauce. <laughs> Run a little time. Two times will do it. <laughs> uh, four times you put all four feet in. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, all right, here we go. Let me see here. Throw the box. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I think it's pretty quiet. Pretty nice. Again, thank you, Alex. That was very nice of you. Oh. And they can see the artwork. I set it up there. Look, you can right. see it a little bit. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice, man. Very nice. Look at you. Look at you, man. Interior decorate over here. <laughs> I just saw there was so much opportunity for the feng shui. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it right here. Oh, hope everybody out there had a good weekend. I'm sure most of you did, as long as your name was not Madam Webb. <laughs> Hey, come on. Get your stuff. Let's go. Well, I ain't going Let's in there. Try that again. <laughs> Dakota Banning just turns around. Oh, what's her name? Dakota Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Just turns around, just walks off the set. <laughs> yeah. Let's try that again. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, I, I try to tell those bitches. Yeah. They don't know. <laughs> think I can go back further before I sign the contract? To <laughs> 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 <Ten> people. <laughs> it's just, boy, this is a rough weekend for the old madam out there. She didn't. <laughs> nah, she didn't. Didn't have a good weekend at all, people. This movie opened up to uh, to, to twenty five million dollars, I think. Twenty five million dollars domestically, and I think twenty five million dollars internationally. Got beat by old Bob Marley out there. Uh, people love Bob Marley. Yeah, well, nobody loves her. <laughs> yeah, he had one love, and he had no love. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, the movie. For a lot of people, this is a dream come true. The movie failed. You know, which and people are thinking, you know, just with with every failure that Sony makes, maybe we're just getting a little bit closer to them stopping the bullshit. <laughs> maybe you know, hopefully, hopefully, they haven't done it yet. But don't give up the dream, y'all. <laughs> yeah, they, they ain't giving up. <laughs> they got to at some point. I mean, that Sam Morbius bombed. This is bombing. If listen, if quality don't mean shit to you, then maybe money will, or lack of it. So this movie bombed very bad. And a lot of people, well, the simple answer to why this bombed is that it sucked. I mean, simply put, you know, no more to say, or is there. The thing is, with this movie right here, a lot of us, 
a lot of us, we, we saw the signs. We felt what was happening. You know, a lot of things were indicators that this movie was not going to do very well before it ever hit theaters out there. And we are going to talk about those reasons. I have, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six reasons. Might have more if these guys add on to it. But I have prepared six reasons as to why this movie, Madam Webb, more specifically bombed at the box office other than the movie just sucked. Why did it suck so bad? What were the factors that were there before the movie came out that were telling us that this was not going to go well at all? Well, we're going to go over those. And since we have six of them, we're going to start with uh, number one. Jumping right into it. <clears throat> let's just, uh, let's talk about one of the, uh, the more obvious things. Or there are the, one of the more obvious reasons why this movie didn't do well and at number one that obvious reason is you can't take a character no one cares about and treat them like you don't care <laughs> you understand i'm saying no one gives a shit about this character in the first place so if you don't if you don't give them a reason to why would they show up especially if you don't give a shit i this is what baffles me the most you know let's be honest y'all and i don't mean anything mean by this but you know no one gave a shit about Madame Webb, all right? No one knew who this character was. Even the comic book characters, they, they, our comic book fans, even they were like, why y'all doing this? Yeah, you think about the hierarchy of characters you would choose to make movies of. She <clears throat> would probably, she. I would say she'd be way down on the list. She wouldn't even be on the list. No, she would not. Uh, you you get down to Z and she still ain't yeah. there. I mean, you know, why, why, why would you, you know, take a character that nobody cares about that is not even a zealous character and not give a shit about how you portray this character on the screen? Something that you put out there to make money. Thing is, that should not matter. DC all the way down to uh, D, E, F, G, all the way down to Z. You know, it, uh, no matter what list your character is on, that should not be a factor. Thing is, and I think a lot of people have seen this, D-list characters and beyond. They actually make for some great stories. They do. And listen to me, y'all. I, I, I'm 100% behind an, a Madam a Madam Web movie being made simply because she is a character that no one knows. You know, uh, because these characters, we haven't seen them before, so they hopefully they come in and offer something just a little fresh, mm -hmm. you know, besides the same superheroes that we're getting hit with all the time. Sure. <clears throat> and in the case of uh, characters like, say, Blade or Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. They didn't have a huge fan base with lore. <clears throat> Fans who were going to be protective of, you can't do that. This isn't like it was in the yeah. comics. It was like, well, I don't really know about, much about them, so you can do what you want. Yeah. And they took it and say, like, well, let's do something really good with this. Yeah, that's you know, you're right. All right. So I had Guardians of the Galaxy prepared. You know, no one was talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't even, don't you fucking lie. You don't know nothing about no Guardians of the Galaxy out there. You stop it. No one knew about Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, hardcore comic book fans did who read Marvel, but the general public didn't know about Guardians mm -hmm. of the Galaxy. Now, they're, they're, they're some of the most endearing characters because yeah. they came at a time where, hey, look, Iron Man, Thor, the Avengers, even Spider Man, they cool, man. But you know, y'all kind of, you know, y'all been around for a while. Y'all need to go home. <laughs> you know, this party's done. These guys came in and they offered not only new characters that we hadn't seen before, but they offered like a whole new, fresh perspective on, uh, on the superhero yeah. uh, story by making this somewhat of a sci-fi story, making this somewhat of a comedy. You know, these characters were quirky, you know, they, yeah. they were able to, they, being that they were not that well known, James Gunn was able to go in and have a lot of fun with these characters yeah. and do what he wanted to do with them. See, the thing is, it's not the movie's fault that it that you know that that it was that it was this bad. You know, uh, it's the studio's fault. Sony, it's their job to make us care, sure, about this character. You know, but that was uh, you know there was a, a feeling from the beginning when they were making this that they didn't care that much. I mean, you could man, y'all looked at the trailer and said, "Damn, that looked cheap." Y'all remember saying that. You know, there, there was just this this attitude of apathy. Yeah, apathy, that's the word. Man, it was, it was just so apathetic, the feeling that Sony had with this when they were going into it. You know, it was the, it was Sony's job to go in and, and, and find a group of nerds, you know, to deep dive on this character and write about it. And they're out there in Hollywood, believe me. You know, find a director who's in, like James Gunn, who's inspired. 
and who can come in and do something weird and unique mm -hmm. with these. That's because that's what James Dunn Gunn did. He had free will to go in and just be kind of just weird with this. Yeah. There was no love. There was no passion. <laughs> Put in here. Shit, that was no interest. Right. Shit, that was barely a huh. <laughs> Man, this movie, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it harsh. This movie is just a neglected hoe. Just Damn. thrown out there to sell his ass for money. And just come back in and get smacked around <laughs> before they get put back out in that corner again. It's a damn shame the way they did this movie. It, you know, just this indifference yeah. that they had to it. So, it's, just, it's sad, it's pathetic. The attitude that went into this, especially for a character that no one knew about. You could have done so much. So much could have been done. Uh, also, for the the five or six people who remembered Madam Web from the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, it was like, oh, I'd like to see her again. She looks nothing like it. No. He could have, could have made it no. somewhat comic book or cartoon accurate, but nah, no. we, ain't, we ain't doing that. No. So it's, it's, it's so much for visual recognition. Yeah, you're 100% right. Raise us to number two. The marketing was just bad for this. Who was this meant for? No, no, <laughs> no. It wasn't, who was it meant for unironically? Oh, yeah, yeah, Not yeah, ironically. Yeah, yeah. No, who was it meant for? Because I couldn't wait for this shit to come out for all the wrong reasons. Yes. <laughs> I could not wait. And it lived up to every everything I expected and then some. But for those who actually want to see legitimate, you know, legitimately good movie, who is this? Who is this made for? They ain't even know. If you didn't know the character, you know, the trailers did nothing to make the character interesting, or even worse, clear what the character's about. <laughs> right? She didn't even. <laughs> even Dakota Johnson was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. <laughs> She's like, I, what, what's your powers? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Hanging out with these girls to turn to spider people. I don't fucking know. <laughs> powers are like never explained. Like even no! throughout the movie, I was like. But how does it work? <laughs> no, no, people don't know. People, they look at this like, I, I've heard people who don't know about this character, like, what the fuck does she do? Well, even the other characters are like, how does this power work? It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Okay, but that's not quite the answer I was looking for. You haven't answered my question yet. How does it work? <laughs> Shit, I don't always really like, fuck, I don't know yet. <laughs> even the trailer that you just showed kind of points it out. It's like, she dies, and it's like, whoop, retry. It's like, okay, yeah, I, I guess I have powers. Yeah, yeah, I, they don't know. And if you did know anything about the character, then you saw how much Sony changed, like you were saying. And it was clear that they, that they, that they, it was clear they didn't, that, that, that they did not make the changes for creativity's sake or story's sake. They changed it so that, and by the way, they changed it and just confused all the mainstream people out there. But their thought were, their thoughts were, we're just going to dumb this down uh -huh. so that we can get as many asses in the theater you know, to, to come in and see that we ain't getting all into the, the, the we ain't doing that nerd shit y'all know. All right. We, <laughs> well, we gonna make it as dumb as possible with it, which, you know, you, you, just, you kind of took it too far. <laughs> you, you, I mean, you dumbed it down way I too know. much, man. They simplified it so much. <laughs> yeah, it really did. <laughs> if they really, first of all, if they really cared, they would have gone in and they would have actually tried to stick to the comic book somewhat for the fans out there and tried to find a middle ground. Shit, they would have even cast it Dakota Johnson, the, the director. She would have stepped in and said, cast me. She looked just like her. Right, look at her. Right. Wow. Yeah, she, look at her. She looked just like Madam Wood. Maybe, like, maybe that's why they hired her. <laughs> she gave her like some Morpheus glasses. Yeah. And done. She showed up on the audition and they were like, huh, you know what? You fit the character, but how would you like to direct? Because we yeah. just lost the director. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look at it. Shit, she's seeing the future right now. Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Fuck. I already signed the contract. I could have stayed home. <laughs> Three. The movie is lazy to the point of insulting. It's treating the audience too stupid, okay? Now, look, we... Let's not lie, you know, the, the, yeah, I know it's a tactic to dumb things down sometimes for mainstream audiences out there, and it does work at, at, at you know, at, at certain moments. But the way that the, the way that Sony was just looking down on the audience and thinking y'all would just buy any bullshit they put out there with a spider on it, that's insulting. Instead of making a good movie about Madam Web that you see right here, they scrap, they, they, they went and grabbed Spider-Man by the nipples and squeezed that shit for all the <laughs> spider juice it was worth. <laughs> You hear what I'm saying? Y'all know me if you saw the movie, you know what I'm talking about. They milked the spider nipples, man. They, they tried to put Spider-Man in there. 
are spider are spider type images. You know, they tried to what they they tried to put Spider Man in there and make you think like, oh, if you see anything that looks remotely like Spider Man, uh-huh. oh, you gonna you gonna you you gonna you gonna buy it. You gonna love it, man. They tried to put Spider Man in there without having Spider Man. Sure, it's like being told you can't have Spider Man. What if we did this though? Stop that. Yeah. What if we did this? You crossing the line. Nuh-uh. Yeah. What if, what if like somebody just putting their toe right on the line? What if we do this? Though? Yep. Yeah, they they tried to have Spider Man without having Spider Man, and thought that all of us would would fall for it. You know, uh, and what I mean by that is that they put in as much spider imagery and tried to make a costume as close to Spider Man as they could. Shit, even if, if even if it's Spider Man with titties, it's fine. <laughs> Look at all they they like with these. They're trying to get as close to the Spider Man branding as they can. Yeah. Uh. You know. Uh. uh they had evil Spider Man in there, which you know. Listen, they tried to <laughs> tried to shoot it in a way where it just you know it looked like Spider Man, but that's a, and that's a terrible costume. Man, I felt so double bamboozled by it because I was like, okay, they got someone who's Spider Man in there, but it's like he's not even really Spider Man. He doesn't shoot webs. He's no. not even super strong. He's kind of he's like a just sort of sticky guy with poison <laughs> hands. Yeah, sticky guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he would, so he wears a knockoff brand spider suit. He climbs the walls. Uh-huh. The only thing he doesn't do is shoot webs. What do you do, poison people? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he poisons poison his, his venom. And there's a part where, like, she fights off his, his grab, and it's like, okay, so I guess he's not super strong, but he just threw you across the room and punches missiles, but, like, <laughs> she can just go, ah, and pull yeah. away, and <laughs> she's fine. Yeah. Yeah, they, they putting a knockoff brand Spider Man in front of you is gonna make you want to go see the movie. And the worst part of it is that, like we told y'all, man, the silliest part. They <laughs> had a whole Spider Man tribe, a Spider Man tribe in the Amazon. That you, that no, damn, this looks so bad. Las Arañas. Oh, get the fuck out of here! No, that's bullshit. That's that's lost bullshit. That's what that is. <laughs> You can even see how cheap it is when they were putting on the makeup back in the in the dressing room. Look at this shit, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that right there, man. That's a damn shame. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you go oh. in there. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And that's what you got. Look at that. <laughs> Julian actually gave me that video right there. Thank you, Julian. Yeah, I'm glad you used That's that. That's actually from the set. There you go. That's on, <laughs> that on the tribesman right there. That's old Easy Sims right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I told y'all, man, if we put enough spider winks in there. Spider winks. Spider winks. So we, we put enough spider winks or spider-like imagery in there, then people, oh, they'll just show up. You know, like our dicks get hard the moment we just hear the word <laughs> spider. Oh, oh shit. You saw y'all see spider? Oh shit. <laughs> All eight of my dicks are erect. <laughs> I'm shooting webs right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's insulting. It's insulting, y'all. Meanwhile, audience are telling you, like, bitch, we know that ain't Spider Man. Who you trying to look? We see him. Y'all need to what y'all need to do is quit bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> Quit bullshit. Are you sure that's not one of the alternative suits from the game? That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking red yard, man. <laughs> it's the suit that you'll never choose. <laughs> yeah. Do they red yard? Yeah. Look at his belt. What the fuck is yeah. that? Looked like he was playing with his cat. His cat wrapped all around him playing. <laughs> yeah, he's a used cat toy. Yeah. He's a cat, yeah. Yeah. You know, what is it saying? Y'all need to quit bullshit with this fake spider shit. And actually concentrate on the characters whose name is on the fucking title of the movie. Instead of doing all this, this, <laughs> doing all this right here, all of this, this old CW fake, stupid ass costume shit they're doing right here. Looks so bad. Looks so bad. It's an insult. Y'all, it's an insult to Spider Man. The thing that y'all trying to get people to buy. God damn you. God damn you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the way they they sold y'all like this just makes me mad all over again. The thing that what's that? Well, I just said I mean they're already bombed, so it's a reason to just pound them into the ground. No, no, they need no, no. It's one of the ass whoopers you need to keep getting. So, so since, you know, since you brought up the the tribal Spider Man, someone said something to me that I didn't know how to respond to it, so I wanted to ask you guys. So, does them having tribal Spider Man retroactively make Spider-Man culturally appropriate his costume? 
I'm, I'm, I'm not even going like, to Like that Spider-Man is culturally appropriating I'm, his stuff. Someone I'm, said this to me. I thought it was funny. Okay, I'm, this I'm is not, my point. I'm, I'm not going to entertain that. <laughs> hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look at the spider kid, y'all. <laughs> I think he appropriated it. <laughs> Shit, someone should appropriate that joke from you, man. <laughs> uh, whoever, whoever wrote that. <laughs> they, they set you up, bro. They did. Oh, they set you up. Thanks, Crispy Computer Fish. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, don't listen to him. <laughs> crispy Computer Fish, come on. Man. You knew what you were doing. I thought you it was an interesting up, point. Yeah. Why, why, you, why, you, why, why you set him up like that? that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's another Julian moment. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh, just, you don't get some breaks now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You missed miss that big wall this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we did nothing. You know, I, was, I kept my mouth shut. I knew I should have said something at the beginning. So you were like, no. <laughs> yes, why didn't you? Yeah. I thought it was yeah. funny. <laughs> Yeah, damn, boy, I'm gonna need some special help right now. Better help. Please, please throw that. <laughs> Bet, I'm gonna need some better help after that, y'all. Boy, this man is driving me crazy. Y'all got a cause to drive you out your mind. Better help. <laughs> don't blame me for that. I'm, I'm glad you stopped this shit. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I got a question. <laughs> just gonna, wait, this gonna, boy, this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> I got a question for you. Wait, listen to this guy. If Spider Man had actually. <laughs> Martin already knew. Martin, <laughs> Martin like Matt Webb. You already saw this is going. Oh, no. Don't do this, Julius. Don't do this. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, y'all like me need some better help right now. Y'all need some therapy. I'm sure going to need it after this. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that I can go online and get some help with BetterHelp.com, man. This, this portion of the show is brought to you by BetterHelp. And... BetterHelp is where you would go to get some online therapy. If you haven't tried it out before, this is a great place to try it. And with BetterHelp, you know, like I said, if you're thinking about doing online therapy, start with them, man, because it is entirely online, which means that it is very convenient, very flexible. You know, not only does it suit your schedule, it suits your style. You know, sometimes people don't want to talk to someone face to face, even if it's on a video call. Some people love that. You have that choice. Some people just want to do a phone call. You also have that option with BetterHelp. And how do you get started? Well, you just go in, you fill out a brief questionnaire. You're going to get matched with a licensed therapist. And hey, you don't like that person? No hard feelings, nothing personal. Just let them know, and they'll switch you out with another therapist that hopefully suits you better. And it's all done at no cost. And also, I tell you that it's very flexible here. It's also very affordable. Listen, people. Don't let the uh, don't let the stigmas about therapy fool you out there. You know, listen. Sometimes, yes, yes. Sometimes people have serious things going on in their heads and they need some serious therapy. But listen, if you're also somebody who just wants to organize your mind, we're in 2024 right now. A lot of people set up a lot of lofty goals for yourself. You know what? I'm gonna eat better. I'm gonna exercise more. I'm gonna organize more and reach those goals out there. My career. If you have your mind clear. You can reach those goals a lot better. Talking about exercising your body, exercise your mind sometimes. Mm-hmm. The same thing. Fortify it's, your mind. Man, fortify your mind. It's not. It's, it is simply sitting down to talk to somebody. You'd be surprised how much that helps organize up here. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to betterhelp.com slash double toasted. Why? Because if you do that, you're going to get 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp.com slash double toasted. Let me spell it out for you. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash D-O-U-B-L-E-T-O-A-S-T-E-D. You put that in and you're going to get 10% off your first month. I want to thank BetterHelp. Boy, I need them right now. <laughs> no, I want to thank, right. thank BetterHelp.com for sponsoring this portion of the show. And... I want to thank you out there for all of your support. Now, to Julian's credit, he did give me the video right here. It was very yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I appreciate Julian's energy. No, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. That was just that was, and I know. Hey, somebody says something, your partner, you, you play off of it. 
that was just one where I was like, I got nowhere to go with that. It was so ridiculous, but like it kind of made sense to me at the same time. It does. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. You, you see me trying to go with you here. Well, he, man, he's giving it to you. I'm, I'm trying to let it go. Get it off my hands. <laughs> the, the shitty spider costume. You still haven't answered the question, Martin. Is it, a, is it spider appropriation? I need to know. <laughs> Did Peter Parker in a different universe appro appropriate the colors red and blue from a tribe that doesn't exist? I don't know. <laughs> that, 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 that's, a, that's a math problem right there. <laughs> oh. Let me appropriate that question. <laughs> 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 he leaned in for the <laughs> Pressing issues. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I want to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> if Peter Parker actually took the Perugian spider suits, <laughs> would that be a cultural appropriation? <laughs> 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 Oh, you take things a good stride, though. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Don't worry, I got more. No, 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 no. I was all right. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. What one per show should be the quote? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. All right. Some of them are more valid than that. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. I can tell you right now, I've seen the future. They're not. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were pushing me. It's like, fine, go fuck yourself. You get what you fucking deserve. That's what you wanted. Hey, man, why am I catching all these strange headaches? You're the one that, oh, I see the future, and the future's bullshit, and you're saying it. Man, he, he made toy his bullshit in the present. He told his to bullshit today. <laughs> Hey, y'all, hey, number four. Number four. Number yes. four. Number four. <laughs> oh, the laziness extends to the, yes, to the, to the, to the, what you want, what you want, cat. Hey. Somebody said the word cat earlier. Oh, uh, can you? JV, she will jump on you. Yeah. And, and let her. So she's got <laughs> long claws. Yeah. Let me see here. The laziness extends to the production. Now, if you had any doubt that Sony didn't care about this movie, and I really don't think they did. I think they cared about making the money behind putting this property out very quickly. But as far as caring about anything, you know, creative or creative integrity here, no, I don't think I, I do not believe they did at all. And if you had any doubt that they didn't care and that this was uh, this was not a rush job, look at the poor production in certain places. Now, we already talked about some of that in the review. We talked about for a, look a movie at this level. What? Yeah, I know. You see, she knows. Uh, can you take? Can you take her out? Just she's looking at you. Take me out. She wants to just walk. She'll follow you to the door. Yeah, look at that. She's ready. <laughs> <laughs> she can go down there fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I got you alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I didn't try to rape his ass. <laughs> where'd, she, where'd she go? Oh, she oh she wants you to let her out oh, of the back door. The back door. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like he heard that. And he's like, oh, she don't rape me. He came back. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Uh, if you didn't have any doubt that this was uh, this was uh, uh, they didn't care about this movie. This this wasn't a rush job. Look at the poor production in certain places. We already talked about this. We talked about the the, the terrible editing for a movie at this level. You know, a movie released by a major studio with a big budget behind it, not huge, but big enough to where they shouldn't be doing this, and with, a, you know, linked to a major property, and yet you have terrible editing in your movie like this? Hi, sir. All right, I'm going to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, now, I thought somebody shortened that online. Mm -hmm. That's in the movie. Yeah. That's terrible, y'all. That's unforgivable for a movie of this level right here. Um, and the camera does something crazy right before that part too. Really? Yeah, like the camera like flips around the car, like right before that the oh, like clip shows. Right, yeah, like, like right before that. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, sir. 
right, I'm gonna cut your skin. Yeah. <laughs> she teleports. Yeah, it's one of her powers. It's the mirror universe. <laughs> That's the thing that's made me laugh about that scene. It's like her powers are almost like you just add water. Like she falls into the water, <laughs> oh, and then, and then like true. everything happens. See, I told you you like what I had. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, that okay, that right there. Well, that that one was like what you have. <laughs> That's like, just add water, Madam Web. I like that. There you go. Good kid right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the cheap costumes we talked about. I mean, you know, we've been talking about that over and over again. And they just don't look good, you know, uh, uh, on, on screen. I it, can't even forgive the cheap costumes if they had an explanation. That's the thing about it. They displayed anything about no. them. You. And I should also say the marketing. This should have been the marketing part of the uh, when I was uh, when I was talking about the marketing part. That this is almost it, it's not almost it's misleading. Mm -hmm. it's, also, it's false marketing. Oh yeah. You put them in there promising that we'd get these characters because you heavily marketed them, and they're hardly in the movie right. and never explained. They're all a, this is it's all a dream sequence. That's false marketing, y'all. That's right. They're at the very beginning. It's a dream sequence, and then we don't see them till later. Yeah, at the very end, you see them, and I think that's implying that that's what's happening next. But yeah. that wasn't. But for the most part, they're in there for under two minutes, and most of it is a dream sequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so cheap costumes, terrible editing for a movie this level. But now some are saying that. The movie is kind of cannibalizing itself from other properties, other spider properties at Sony. So they're saying something. Kevin King, thank you. Kevin King sent this to me. Mm -hmm. And he said that, the, uh, for one, the score in the movie, here it is right here. Okay, so you hear a little bit of that. They say that <clears throat> the score here is kind of a kind of a riff on the score from. Did you hear about this? I, I heard something about the score in the yeah, music this, of it. They said the score is kind of riffing on the Spider-Man video game. Yeah. That sounds like you, the same thing. It's the same that, thing, that, that's right? Not, that's not even a riff. That's the same thing. <laughs> well, it changes just a little as it goes into but, it. But I, I did notice that while watching it. And I was like, wait, a, this sounds like the game. Yeah, that's a total, it's a total rip off. But I guess, well, you know, Sony owns it all, so they, 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 it's their own catalog. But, it, you know, they, they change it enough later to where it's like, okay, you know, uh, you, you didn't even bother to try to make an original score. You just ripped yourself off because yeah. you're lazy. Uh, also, they're saying that. <laughs> There's some footage that's reused from the end of Spider-Man 2. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let me see here. I have it on X. There's a video right here. Uh, it's a little small. Hopefully you can see it. Let me see here. Hold on, y'all. There it is. So you can see that's the same building right there. Uh, this is from Spider-Man 2. Uh, let's see here. Madam Web. The photo on the left is Madam Web. This right here. The video on the right is from Spider-Man 2. So you can see that they're using oh, the yeah. same building. Now, it's not unusual. You know, the same brownstones everywhere. And to be honest with you, oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to put that on there. I was trying to actually cut it off. But it's not unusual for uh, for a movie to reuse footage from another film. Sure. I mean, you know, if they can hide it well, they do that sometimes. It's not even unusual for uh, a studio to kind of you know do a rehash of a movie score. But for a movie with this production, this shoddy, it just kind of stands out here even more. You know, it just it just uh, it just shows there's another level where they just they just don't really care. Uh, this one, number five, is not so much it's beating down the movie anymore. I mean, it, 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 at number five, it simply could also be, now, that's not to excuse this movie right here because Madam Web is awful. But also, it, it probably doesn't help that, and this is my number five here, that there's just too much spider stuff out there right now. You know, but before Madam Web hit theaters, you know, maybe we, I'm not saying we had spider fatigue, but we already had like enough spider goodness out there. In addition to, you know, 
the MCU's <clears throat> Spider-Man out there, which we hadn't had for a while, you know, over years. So uh, we, but we did just have. Are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? I'm sure. Yeah, that's the Spider-Man game that just came out, Spider-Man Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, you know, we we're still talking about Spider-Man across the the, the Spider Verse. You know, that's up for Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. People are still watching this on Netflix now. And, you know, there's a movie that's still talked about and loved by people. You know, so while these things are great, the game and the movie right here, uh, they are in short proximity of each other coming out. And so, you know, so why would somebody go see something that's mediocre? <laughs> you know, that, that looks mediocre before it even came out. Well, one of the, the charges uh, against this movie and so many of these other lesser superhero movies is that they feel like throwbacks from the 90s Mm -hmm. when you didn't have like like pre iron man or just shortly after where so many of these studios weren't spending the money and hadn't figured out the formula of how Mm -hmm. to make something good that the fans appreciate it's just like (coughs) they had the property and they were like well let's just do something yeah and and so yeah this being from that era when like like prior to uh to like like the x-men movie if you got anything like something like this could have come out it'd have been like Man, finally, we're getting some comic book movies. Um, but now it's like, nah, son, you got to do way better than this. Yes. Yeah. No, we're getting too much good stuff. And like people, just, they felt this be- being mediocre before it came out. So they're like, why why, why watch this shit when there's like yeah. a lot of good other spider stuff that's out there already? I mean, it kind of told you it was bad from the trailers. Yep. Which, you know, a lot of movies aren't honest like that. Yeah, that's why I was excited. Like, I, Wednesday, I was like, oh boy, going to see this. And it didn't disappoint. Five minutes in, the stupid tribal Spider-Man. I, was, <laughs> I got everything I wanted out of this. Yeah. It was worse than Morbius, but it wasn't as bad as those Venom movies are, which I also find enjoyable. You know, I, uh, man, this whole Spider-Verse that they're trying to create, I ain't, I'm not... I'm not talking about uh, I'm not talking about Miles Morales, you know. I'm not talking about that Spider Verse. I'm talking about this old chopped up last minute bullshit they're throwing together at Sony. Uh, it's getting convoluted, man. I mean, all, everything. How many fucking spider coincidences are we thought we're gonna have <laughs> before Peter Parker even gets there? Right. <laughs> Everybody's got some spider shit going on as a fucking spider tribe, and you know the the, the, the spider chicks running around here, and there's a you know the, the, the what, evil spider. Like how much spider shit is gonna happen before Peter Parker gets here? And you know, understand it's a comic book, and you can say, well. I mean, they had a lot of them in the, across the, the Spider Verse. Yeah, but they explained it with a multiverse. Uh-huh. All this is just coincidence. And by the way, it's coincidence to, to just put a bunch of spider images in there to make money, not for storytelling. It's stupid. I was just like, how much spider shit is this book gonna be born into? Before that radioactive spider even got here, we have magical spiders. And yeah, fucking. <laughs> Symbiote. Yeah. I, I love that they had the spider bite her on the chest, the mom. I was like, why did they do that? And I realized, it's like, oh, that's where the Spider Man logo is. Oh, of yes. oh, yeah, man. of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It makes sense when you think about it. No, it does not. <laughs> I wish it did. Uh, and six, this is my last one. And number six. I'm not blaming her because I think a lot of people are trying to put blame on her, but I don't blame her at all. It's nothing. She knew this movie was bullshit too, but <laughs> Dakota Johnson, I don't, she didn't help things. <laughs> she, no. did, she did it. When she was out there doing the press tour and who can blame her, man? She saw the movie. So I, I, she was there while I was being made. She has actually seen the movie and she says she don't want to see it after this. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, well, so, it, it, yeah, her not giving a shit on doing press. I'm sure she's like, I just want to distance myself. Yeah. From this. I feel if, bad. If, if I act like I don't care, then maybe people won't mentally attach me to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I. she was out there and, and the movie was so bad. She knew it was bad being made. Her disdain for it could just not be, <laughs> she couldn't hide anymore. So she just started giving smart ass answers for things. You name the three Spider Man Tom Holland movies. Yeah. <laughs> Should I just go on faith? Spider Man. Here's here you come. Yes. That's yeah. number one. Yep. Spider Man, and he's back. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, the last one is um at uh, uh the goblet of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> she's 
She don't care, man. Spider Man and the don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she she did she just and that was one of the funny ones that she did. There were others where she just made it clear, like, yeah, it's it's a movie. Yeah, you know, what do you want me to say? Moving on. You, Julian actually gave me a video that was uh where they, besides there, I should have put this in the marketing part too. But man, their marketing was so bad for this. It got to the point where it was just ridiculous. I mean, it didn't even make any sense. What is this? This other. So th- they had marketing where they involved Raven Simone from the show That's So Raven. And they did it because she's also clairvoyant and can see into the future. And they play into that. like the show, like right there. Oh. Uh. Hey. Is that? Madam oh. Webb. <laughs> Coming soon to see the new <laughs> Madam Webb. For real. Madam <laughs> Webb. Madam <laughs> Webb. That's the best I could come up with. <laughs> I mean, you know, when everything's on fire and you're scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder why you lose. <laughs> and Car- Raymond Simone in her pajamas and say, hey, would you mind shooting this thing with us? <laughs> what the fuck y'all doing here? Hey, who are, you? Who are y'all? <laughs> it's going to be real funny when we edit it together. <laughs> Trust us. And I love that they're like, this makes so much sense. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Is that... Man, I'm just supposed to be actors. <laughs> I, I know. Well, you know that first part. Oh, the icon herself. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> they are actors, not improv comedians. <laughs> oh, Lord. Get them girls a script today. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Those are my six reasons, man. Why wow. this movie failed? I mean, you could, like I said, you could see a lot of it coming. I, movie I, came I out. got another a, a number seven reason. Please, number seven reason. No offense to Dakota Johnson, but this movie has no star power. Mm. There is no actor that you see that anybody goes like, "Ooh, I want to see them," and and like they're in it. I I love to watch them perform. Let me come watch this because they're because even though you know you say there's no movie stars anymore except for like a couple of people, there's still some movies where you might be like I don't know about this, but you see a certain actor who you're used to being in quality productions. You go, oh, well if they're in it, then maybe yeah maybe maybe give us a chance. Mm-hmm. There's none of that here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No star power and no iconography. Even when they try to force it with them in those spider costumes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to add? I mean, add? Uh, I got. I just have stuff that would be better for the roast. I mean, the crazier thing to me is that they, the way that they involve Pepsi and like the <laughs> Pepsi factory. Like, first they go to the Pepsi factory, and that's where Mike Epps dies. Mm-hmm. Like, and there's and which isn't explained by the way. Like, a car runs into him, and then nothing happens with that. But then when the end of the movie happens, they're like, ah, this building is not structurally sound. It's the Pepsi factory again. <laughs> Why the fuck are there fireworks at the Pepsi factory? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's, that, yeah. that is not explained. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice? Well, uh, I was talking to him about this too. Like, she's still, so she's just stealing cars like it's GTA. And yeah. yeah. And she steals an ambulance and when somebody's probably dying or, uh-huh, uh-huh. or needs to be taken to the hospital. She's like to sticking. be there. <laughs> when Madam Webb's around. <laughs> Better watch your cars. And uh, another thing, a character that we haven't brought up at all, the, the person in the chair, old Easy Sims' is assistant, someone who's randomly introduced, who's like, they just throw in the Wait, end by, of the by, We're talking about spoilers, by the way, so oh. people don't want to hear it. You know, We should probably tell people that. Yeah, yeah but, sorry. Uh, no, <laughs> You're be... welcome, but sorry, I guess. <laughs> but uh, they just throw in the end of the Dark Knight, where they're like, yes, we have this surveillance system where it can pack into everything. And this character is literally yeah. always in the chair. They're not even a person. And that goes into all the characters. None of them are developed in any way. Yeah. They're flat as fuck. Yeah. No, you're right. All, all yeah, the characters in here. Zoisha Mamet and uh, Emma Roberts were two actresses you've seen in a lot of stuff <clears throat> who don't 
barely in this movie. Don't do anything. Like, yeah, Zoisha, she's like... Who are they? The, uh, oh, oh, the chick at the... At the computer, and, yeah. and Emma Roberts was, you know, Peter Parker's mom. Yeah, yeah. And, like, wow, you got them, and you barely used them for anything. Almost like they said, hey, I'm friends with Dakota. I'll show up for a day. How do you spell that girl's name, Zoisha? Uh, I think it's Z-O-S-I-A. Zoisha Mamet. Yeah, she's David Mamet's daughter, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's on girls. Well, nepotism at its finest. But, but no, she's she's actually a really good actress, man. Yeah, she, she is. She was on that show, the, the uh, flight attendant. Flight attendant, yeah. And she was really good. Yeah. Not like the character she played on on girls. Uh, that's her, and they wasted her, man. Yeah, wasted her. Terrible, terrible. I say. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's uh. I tell you, like I said, man, you know, given all the circumstances around this, all the elements leading up to this, I, I, it's, it's, this is a rare, this is a rare sort of travesty. This is a rare bomb. You know, it's a, I, and I guess I got, work for it. I guess I got one more reason: the desperate attempts to be connected to Marvel, like where one character is like, "You won't like me when I'm angry." Yeah, and, um, and really, just, somebody did that. They said hungry. It. She said, hungry. "Oh, okay. yeah, you won't like me when I'm angry." Yeah, and uh-huh. she says it twice, and also that lame ass wannabe uh, a Captain America shield moment at the end on the roof of the Pepsi place. She has like shrap metal that goes off, and then she's like, "Oh, we'll just hold this, oh, yeah. lock <laughs> missiles and stuff." <laughs> Yeah, just make your own goddamn movie. And make it, you know, make it no. good. You can steal it from everybody else's movie. You can't even make your own movie. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. It's fascinating. Fascinating it's failure. It's called a remix. Oh, no, it ain't. It's called some bullshit. It's a... <laughs> Damn, boy. It's, 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 it is a fascinating failure. Yeah, like I was telling you the other day, it's like one of those uh, Rick and Morty alternate universe cable programs. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like something that aliens made. Like, what they looked at our culture like, okay, let us make this. Because, <laughs> because if you take this seriously, this is appalling. As anyone who loves comic books, you look at this, it's like, wow, how dare you disrespect this legendary character and the audience at the same time to the highest degree, making Borat the villain? Fuck out of here. <laughs> so disrespectful. Yes. yes. But I, I love it, dude. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you're mad now, but I think when you watch it again, you're going to have a I'm great time. I'm coming around. No, I'm coming around just <laughs> talking about today. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm mad, but I feel so good. <laughs> I'm angry. It makes me happy. <laughs> and we didn't even talk about it. You can bring it up in the roast because you'll be able to have good footage of it. Uh, Ezekiel Sims walks around barefoot the entire time. I didn't notice that. Yeah, in an yeah. alleyway, barefoot. Walking in the subway, barefoot. Why? So you can climb the walls? Because and he's... He's deep within his roots of whatever the fuck. Fuck out of here with it. (laughs) Yeah, and I don't think you walk in a New York subway barefoot if you didn't have to. No, no. He's evil (laughs) (laughs) Spider-Man. Nothing gets to his feet. (laughs) Nothing penetrates those spider feet. (laughs) It was like, what's he been doing all this time? (laughs) Having somebody dub his voice. (laughs) (laughs) I must stop (laughs) him. They want to destroy me. I must stop them. God damn. Boy. It sounded like it was a room all the time, no matter where you were. It's terrible, man. Oh, boy. But yes, I can't. You're right. I, I had so much fun talking about this right now. I can't wait to roast shit out of this. I, I'm not going to love the movie. I will love the experience. I predict you're going to come around. Okay. <laughs> I just saw that. Well, just like this movie, that's bullshit. <laughs> I will enjoy it. I'll meet you halfway your vision. I'll meet one eyeball. I will enjoy I will enjoy roasting this. And how about those opening credits? It was just like Times New Roman and Marvel, Sony, yeah. Madam Web. I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I hope I, I enjoyed talking about this. You know we just messing with you, man. You know oh, of course. Of course, you know. You know. It's a whole different thing on the show. Uh, but y'all, uh, I hope y'all have fun listening to us, and I hope you'll have fun. We come back and roast this shit again. Trust me, when this when this hits, when this hits, uh, the moment is his video. Are y'all to so, uh, March thirty first? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <In> two weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, in a few weeks. I'm, we definitely gonna do this. I'm, I'm hoping that there's some deleted scenes. Like, I wonder if there was like <laughs> s- scenes where they're swinging around webs, because that's one thing that you they make you think they imply that this guy can swing on webs, but you never see it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I didn't know. I, I didn't know I wanted that until you just said it. <laughs> there's so much shit. I mean, like the way that they have web in the movie, like with her hand, like forming a ball of energy. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Shoot, it's just like. 
how? How did that even get to a point where someone was like, all right, this is what we want you to render? It's like, what the fuck, yeah. man? Damn, the movie's at 13% now. $80 million, right? Uh, eight, what, for, eight? for the budget. Oh, for the budget, something like that, yeah. It wasn't $100 million. Oh. Good job, Sony. It's a very nice Pepsi commercial you got there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't make their money off Pepsi. <laughs> That's all we do, these soda pop deals. We can keep making these. Man, Pepsi's in so many bad movies that we roasted. I know. <laughs> yeah, they're almost in all of them. The first time I started really noticing was with the, the uh, Garbage Pail Kids. Oh, man. They hit a Pepsi truck. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're everywhere, man. Pepsi's everywhere you don't want them to be. Well, man, if, if these keep bombing, what if they go like, all right, we're at a desperate point. I guess we got to make a Miles Morales movie. Uh, well, hopefully they'll listen. I don't mind to make a Miles Morales movie or live a action. Gwen Stacy movie or anything live action. Yeah, but as long as what I want them to do is I want them to just start caring. Unless that's all. And but you know the thing is, money talks. If yeah. they stop, if they if if this approach of, of doing things fast and easy and lazy is not working, they lose money on it. Then if, if enough fans complain, then you know they, they have no, really no choice. Yeah, but they might, instead of looking inward and going like, okay, we fucked up, they might go like, it's just the superhero fatigue. There's nothing we can do about good. it. Good, then don't make any more. <laughs> Either way, we win. Don't make any or make them good. Just stop doing what you're doing now. Any predictions on how Craven is going to be received from you guys? That's I just looked it up, August 30th of this year. Yeah, I think, I, I, I as much as I hate to say it, I think Craven was, is going to be a better movie. I think Craven, for one, Craven's not going to try to, I don't know, it might, it's not going to be so spider centric. You know, it's gonna, it'll sort of stand, it'll, it'll stand on its own like Venom. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, I think it, I, it, look, Craven can actually be good. I hate to say it, but it actually could be fun. I hate to say that. It looks goofy. I mean, he's biting off noses and stuff. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward it to it. It could be, so it, look, it, it could be a really shitty uh, take on the comic book character, but it could be fun as his own little action, rated R you know, crazy ass movie. I don't know, man. Just only sort of bad doesn't really serve our purpose. <laughs> no, you, you well, either way, you has to go one, it has to either be good or just really terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I don't, well, what I'm saying is it'll be bad because it won't be the character. Mm -hmm. But if you take it outside of that, it could be good. Yeah. You know, really, if I'm, I'm starting to come around on the first Venom. I'm like, all right, you know, I still, now that y'all don't, man. Well, I, don't, I still don't know what people see in that second bit. I know. I really do not. I, I like those movies for the same reason I like The Room. Like, they're, they're awful. <laughs> yeah. Nah, hey, listen, my, the really asshole side of me wants Craven to fail. I want Craven to fail and fall on his ass. I want all these movies to fail to start acting right. <laughs> <laughs> and that, Madam Webb, 13%. Audience score is 56%. It's, it's a lie. It's a failure on all levels, man. All levels. Like usually the audience score is a little nice, not here. I even think it got a bad cinema score when people came out like a like a C or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Hey, let's read some emails, y'all. Then sure. we're gonna get out of here. No, uh, so I guess we're gonna wait for another time to do that. Uh, that one cut of the dead. Yeah, no, we okay, are. Okay. We'll do it. Yeah, no, we're going. We're going to do. It. We haven't forgot about one cut of the dead. I just didn't know how long we'd take here tonight, and uh, I, Martin had to get here at six thirty, so I don't want to keep everybody here too late. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. See, I am thinking about y'all. Look at that. All right. I have a birthday shout out. Oh, uh, Adam Daniels. No, that's not you. Luke Kidwell. I get to you, Adam Daniels, though. Luke Kidwell. Oh, uh, Luke. You know Luke Kidwell. I do? Yeah. Yeah, Luke Kidwell. He does. A, he has a, a, a YouTube channel. He does his own movie reviews on. But Luke and I have hung out. It's his birthday. Just Luke get, Nukem? Yeah, Luke Nukem. Oh, yeah, That's what yeah, I, was yeah. I was trying to think of the name. Yeah, Luke yeah, Nukem. yeah, yeah. I, was, I messaged him just the other day. Yeah, Luke, I haven't forgot about you, man. We'll go get lunch at some point. He says, I was hoping if I could get a birthday shout-out from the Toasty Crew uh, at Cartoon Muppet. You're Cartoon Muppet? I did not know that. I'm sorry. It's the first time I knew that you were Cartoon Muppet. In the Twitch chat, that is. Uh, turning 25 years old today. This past year, 2023, was probably one of the worst years I've ever went through. Oh. For me and my family, my sister died from a blockage in her colon that affected her body. Jeez. And it was really hard on all of us. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. That's and I terrible. just have to tell you that your show has been a huge source of joy and laughter for me. 
The Bad Movie Rose for Inspector Gadget was one of the biggest laughs I had gotten during that time. And I also love the recent rose for Monkey Bone. That's courtesy of this man over here. I'm looking forward to watching it again myself. Uh, Martin actually kind of liked the movie. You know, it's, it, we, there's an appreciation for it. Oh, yeah, it's a special movie. Still hoping it'll be put on YouTube soon. Monkey Bones, it, Monkey Bones not on YouTube? No, they just uploaded Morbius. It's probably because it's getting a copyright. Uh, we're somewhere. probably waiting on it. Yeah, we got. they're doing that thing. They're just making us wait. Thank you guys for all the laughs and keep up the great work. Thanks and stay toasty. Hey, happy birthday, man. Yeah, yes. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. yeah. I watched some of his videos the other day. They're pretty funny. No, he's a funny guy, man, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up on that. And, yes, we'll go to lunch soon, man. I'll take you out somewhere. We're trying to bring you a little happiness despite all the bad stuff you've been going through. Yeah, come through my stream. I'll sing you happy birthday. Uh, Isaiah Fillmore, I want to pay you to – to uh, do uh, King Kung Fu. Tell you what, as soon as we do One Cut of the Dead, we'll take a payment for another review. Uh, I'll look at King Kung Fu. What is this, Isaiah Fillmore? What is this craziness you're talking about, sir? Let's take a look. Let's see. Isaiah Fillmore, where are you? Kung Fu. King Kung Fu is what this is called. They call him... King Kung Fu. <laughs> Listen, that's a circus wagon, isn't it? Don't they have trap doors in the bottom to help clean the cages? All you gotta do is climb up under that wagon and pull the latch on the trap door. That grill will never even see him, much less be able to get at you through the bars. Oh, Mama boy, the scoop will be when the gorilla gets loose and goes after her. The gorilla gets loose. We'll just put out an APC on that. <laughs> APC. Calling all cars, calling all cars. That's all the cars. The fun filled film, King Kung Fu. Healed me like a banana. You sure you want to spend money on this? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this, uh, we, might have to, we might have to help you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for gunplay. The Mirthful Master of the Martial Arts. King Kung Fu. Nice. It's a strike. Wrong right. oh, sport. Oh, Jones goes flying oh, into the air. What do we got here? A sissy gorilla, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he is hoping that wisdom will come with aid. For then he will know that fighting in itself does not bring honor, as honor is all there is which separates man from the animal. Now, lady, I'm ordering. What the hell is this, man? What, what year is that from? How many times they hit the gong in that one scene? Uh, <laughs> not enough. <laughs> Somebody says, I'm for it. We'll think about it. We'll tell you, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Maybe it, make, it might make a better viewing party. I'm not. Uh, I'm going to be gone that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, Stephen Wilson. Hey, Corey, enjoyed the show tonight. Long time subscriber, all love in the future. Can you maybe consider to do a bad movie roast for the live action Rocky and Bullwinkle? Yes. Yes, I can. It's one of the biggest cinematic disasters. Yeah, we remember. Oh, that was painful. Boy, we, man, I, I felt so much second, third, and fourth hand embarrassment. embarrassment. Oh. I grew up with that one on VHS. Yeah, oh. that, that, yeah, it tracks. <laughs> Oh, it's got Robert De Niro. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's as bad as the Fat Albert movie. The characters are horribly cliche. The humor is unfunny and dull. Man, we were there. You don't, you don't have to sell us on that. We know how bad that movie was. We walked out. We couldn't even look at each other, man. Yeah, right? It was just, we all felt embarrassed to be in that theater. I'd be curious. To are look. you talking to me? <laughs> to oh, kill me right now. I'd rather watch porn with my mama than go see that movie. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how bad it was. Uh, oh, that chicken wing. <laughs> yeah, that movie, that movie was bad. That movie was terrible. It's terrible. It's so terrible. That movie is so bad. Corey, please tell me you got the package that came in on Friday. I did. I did. I want to open it for a show, though. Uh, maybe Julie and I can do something before I leave on Thursday. I'm going out of town. Uh, I'll be back on Saturday, so maybe we'll figure out a time to open it. But I did get the package. Now, is it urgent that I open it? If it is, let me know, and I will open it 
post haste. Yeah, I gotta open it by tonight or it'll be dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's already dead. <laughs> oh, we could do that top thing also. Oh, that's right. That's right. So while my character in the movie may be able to see the future, I also okay. can. And I know what the future brings. I know that when you see Madam Webb, you're gonna love it. In fact, I think you're gonna see it twice. Madame Booty. Well, she does. She's not wrong. She does. Not. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she saw the future. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're looking at camera, practically licking her lips. Man, you're going to watch it again. She could give a fuck less. <laughs> All right, Livia. Subtitles in Russian. <laughs> Join your network. Uh, what's up, Corey, Martin, Julie? I was wondering if you've seen the, the leaked pictures from the Michael Jackson biopic. Man, yeah, it looks the this, black and white pictures. Uh, no, these are in color. This the movies as far as the cast, movies looking great. Uh, your man's at uh, Coleman Domingo is Joe Jackson, and uh, here's the guy playing uh Michael right there. So, yeah, yeah I think he's related to them. Yes, his nephew. Yes, his nephew. Yeah. So and right, Anton Fuqua is directed. So there were leaked pictures of uh, the live action Lilo and Stitch. They're doing a live action Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. How does it look? It looked all right. It looked better than some of the other fake images that had come mm. out. They have like Stitch in like a little Barbie car or something. Mm. Did you see the X Men '97 uh, trailer? I did. You look pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I like it. It's even funny. I heard uh, see other people complaining about it being too woke. What is woke about it? <laughs> the X Men is is the definition of woke itself from conception. Yeah, but they're, they're minorities. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what what are people saying is woke about I don't, it? Man. People don't like that uh, the way that they flatten Jean Grey's ass. Like they have side woke. Yeah, I guess that's I fucking know. woke. I mean, I like it big ass as much as anybody else, but god damn. Oh fuck! Oh <laughs> y'all, people, man. Fuck all y'all. We gotta man. share this planet with them. Fuck all y'all. No, I don't have to share this plan. I'm leaving. I'm building a rocket tonight and going to the moon. <laughs> Suffocate. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> Luke Ramos. Hey, guys. Enjoyed your spoiler talk of Madam Webb. So I was wondering what you guys think of the recent backlash Chris Stuckman is going through right now. What? Yeah. What? Online, YouTube critics have taken offense to how in his recent movie review of Madam Webb, he says how it's not fair to criticize a film's writers and director because more than likely a big studio like Sony is interfering with the movie making process. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with that? I don't, I think, but some of these writers probably, I mean, I don't know. When you have a track record of just making nothing but bad movies, <laughs> which these writers do, yeah. then, you know, there's something to consider there too. So. Yeah, you know. Why, why is he facing a backlash over that? Because it's the internet. We got a backlash against something. What are you doing? <laughs> Everybody do the backlash. Do the backlash. <laughs> Lane, I got a question. Now, I know this is extremely recent, but I do want to ask you if you had any personal takes on how stories are told. I'm a young aspiring comic book writer. And I'm asking this so I can get some advice for how I would tell stories and write dialogue. And write dialogue, write. If you don't get the chance to see this, that's all right. With huge thanks and appreciation, appreciate, appreciation, appreciation, unpaid gamer zero seven. P.S. Yes, I do have a different email address because someone already has my Twitch name as their Google account. Oh well, uh, Martin, you got any advice for this young man right here? That sounds like a very vague question. How do you tell stories? Listen, if you if you're writing from uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm not a comic book writer. I'm not a writer, so I don't know what to tell you. I, you know, I, I, I would just <laughs> if you're writing comic book stories, that's a hard one because we don't know what kind of comic book you're writing. Yeah, and then we don't have much information here. Is yeah, you just want formatting or if you're writing now, now if you're writing this and it's your own thing, uh, I will tell you some of the most basic. And I've learned this myself, so I can tell you, I can, I can honestly tell you this, uh, that, that I think this is true. Uh, it's, people hate hearing this because it sounds so cliche, but you really do have to write from your own voice, write from your heart or whatever, or write what you know. Don't, a lot of people love writing what they see other people doing. I mean, you want to look at that, look at all the knockoffs of Tarantino that came out. 
back in the 90s, you know, and I'm, I'm not even from the studios. But then you had like every student was out there writing a Tarantino movie. Every student filmmaker was right, making a Tarantino uh, type film, crime film. You know, and they weren't writing from sincerity. You know, they weren't writing from being original, right? You know, don't don't be that person that you love something so you're just gonna mimic that. You know, write write from your heart, man. You know, write with an original voice. Or write at least with your original voice, even if it's derivative of something else. That's all I can tell you with the information that he's given. Yeah, very little information. Yeah. <laughs> Hope that helped. All right, uh, we're going to do the top five brought to you by Double Toasting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Courtesy of Kevin King over here. Uh, yeah, man, I went to my email and saw that email up there from PayPal. Man, I got a free code. <laughs> Did you, though? <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. A code? Yeah. <laughs> I got a, I mean, it's coding you. Yeah. <laughs> you got a free muffin. <laughs> Ah, boy, it's a muppet with cancer. <laughs> Jesus, it don't even feel good. Oh, maybe you uh, can re-gift it to somebody. I'm gonna keep it in case we do have. Get your blonde wig on. Wear that. Your Leon S. Kennedy. There you go. There you, man, you know what? You got a great. That's a great idea. Some of the people in the comments were saying that. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Kevin King. Where is this top? Box officer. Uh, here we go. All right. Start at number five. Jesus, still up in there. The Chosen, season four, episodes four through six. <laughs> still hanging in there, man. Uh, $3.4 million is what it brought in this week for a total gross of $4.2 million. Isn't Don't know about the third week. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, he put week one. I think he put oh, the wrong no. one up there. Thank <laughs> yeah, you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. That sounded a little, a little weird, but yeah. Oh, Good well. Catch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, because I didn't see shit. I was just reading it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, and I actually lost money. <laughs> <laughs> Went back in time. Yeah, as Jesus has a tendency to do. Uh, number four. I hope all these aren't <laughs> old. Uh, number four is uh, migration. Wow, it had dropped out. Came back. Came back 28, it like rose up 28%. Weekend gross is $3.8 million for a total gross of $114 million. Budget is $72 million, so doing very well. Uh, Martin, you're going to love this. Argyle, number three. Weekend gross is $4.7 million. It dropped 24% to bring in a total gross of $36 million after three weeks. That's on a budget of $200 million, so that bombed. Didn't really drop bad. enough. Oh, my God. Martin hates that cat. <laughs> Yeah, I can't I, wait to see that. Uh, oh, yeah, you should you should jump on it. I mean, I actually like this movie less than Madame Web. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited to just like see what they did with two hundred million dollars. Yeah, well, no, if you figure it out, let me. know. <laughs> they actually used it. I don't know if they used it well. You can see it up there. Um, hold on, hold on. I got text my back here. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see here. All right. Number four. Number four is old Madam Webb right there. $15.2 million. Total gross is $23 million for a budget. That's on a budget of $80 million. And by the way, I think I said $25 million, so brought in $23 million. I guess it's twenty five if you take Wednesday's uh, and Thursday's money or just Wednesday's money. But then I think even domestic, uh, I'm sorry, internationally. It made about $25 million. So that's considered a big failure right there. Unless it for some reason sticks around because of uh, people like Julian. It's yeah. is small for a superhero. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, who knows, man? We're sitting up here. As much as I hate this movie, it could make his money back or at least his budget back. But we'll see. We'll Especially see. with all the Julian Hemmendingers and, and what I was saying and, and Patrick Gerson <laughs> of the world. <laughs> I mean, I saw it once in theaters just to see it, and it did not disappoint for the garbage I thought it was going to be. But I'm not going to go to a theater to to pay to see that again. I'll wait until it falls off the back of a truck. Uh, and at number one, Bob Marley, hey. One Love. Uh, a lot of people gave it that love, man. This weekend, twenty-seven point seven million dollars for a total gross of forty-five million. And that's on a budget of $70 million. So that movie was the surprise money maker of the weekend. So there you go. That is the top five. That's going to be a huge hit. That's going to make tons of money. You think so? Oh, I think that'll be a big international hit. You think so? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Bob Marley's pretty universal, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he is. 
All right, y'all. That is that. And go away. No, thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. We had a fun. We had a fun time, everybody. We got to get out of here. Uh, we will see you. <laughs> right there, it is. Rock and Bullwinkle. Look at that. Ryan Walderson, I'd rather watch porn with my mama, Corey Coleman. <laughs> That's the quote on the box right there. And it's true. <laughs> Jason Alexander's in that. I forgot. Uh, yep. yeah, I forgot about that, too. And Renee Russo. Oh, that's right. <sighs> All right, y'all. There we go. Another one. Another one done. And uh, we'll see you. I think tomorrow... Tomorrow I am going to, or not me, Oz is going to be out of town. Oz is going to be hanging out with his father. So I don't know if I'll be doing a show or not. Uh, I did one last week when Chicago John was here. So I might come in. I might come in and do a show by myself, or maybe somebody will join me. If you happen to be in the neighborhood, uh, Mr. Down, we could do that, that, uh, that package thing, too. You know what? That's what we probably should do. And, maybe and we should do that. I'll find some foolishness. Okay. <laughs> maybe we should open up that package. Uh yeah, Oz is going to be in Tobago with his father. Oh. Yeah. So, But, yeah, you know what? Uh, we do have to do a package opening. So maybe yeah. tomorrow we'll do it for that since yeah. I'm going to be gone on Thursday. So maybe we will have something to do tomorrow. I'm going to be in Waco. That's the thing. So I hope I can get back in time. Uh, Got to go see Mama Coleman, my dukes out there. So we'll let, we'll let you know, people. We'll let you know. Watch some porn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely not putting no rocket boo. We gotta take it out. Uh all right then. Somebody said you what I better go see my mama or I better do a show. I don't know. Ooh, that sounds threatening on Ryan's angel. Uh all right, everybody. We're out of here. Thank you so much, Orion's Angel, DT Dark Slade, Luke the Boss. Do you know the Muffin Man? Mocha Muffin Man, Mocha Muffin Man. Uh, fry your blast. Where's Wallace? Wallace is getting out of here, I'll tell you that. Uh, Beth Dutton, AO Too Tall, TM36 Chicken, 123 Space, and Manny's My Name. Hmm. Uh, hanging out in the chat is the game. All right, everybody, we're out of here. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Martin Thomas. Yes. And Julian Amninger, thank you. And thank all of you out there. We'll see you all on the next one. I want to thank that guy, JV, for being here today. JV, come in and peek in real quick. Let the people see you. JV ran a marathon today. Yeah, there he there is. He is. <laughs> yeah, he told me his nipples were bleeding and he lost, what, about five toenails? <laughs> yeah. Five toes, right? <laughs> yeah, man. But you made it through. Yes. And... Uh, I would hang out with you tonight. I didn't have plans with somebody, so I'm, you know, I, I'm prob probably going to go to Waco tonight. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I might be going to Waco this evening, so we'll hang out tomorrow when I get back. All right. All right. All right, everybody. That is it. Thank you so much. Uh, what I have to tell you real quick before we go, I know there was something on my mind when I. Double Toasted in Los Angeles. Get your tickets now by going to DTMerch.com, DoubleToasted.com, or if you press that banner on DTMerch.com, it'll take you to X1Entertainment.com. Get your tickets over there for Double Toasted in Los Angeles. Also, get your tickets for Double Toasted at the Broadway Comedy Club. I'll be there for a night nice sit-down comedy March 15th. Get your tickets by going to BroadwayComedyClub.com or DoubleToastedNY.com. And subscribe to our Twitch channel. Uh, are you tired, little man? Yeah, I'm sick of this web. <laughs> hey, are we all? Oh, but folks, it's been fun. I want you to kcoolmans at gmail.com. That's k c o o l m a n z at gmail.com. Email us with any kind of questions, comments, compliments, insults, input, and or advice. Hit us up on those social medias: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Patreon, type in Double Toaster on any of those platforms. It's going to take you where you need to be. Martin Thomas. You can find me on Instagram at Martin underscore no pro. 
or just look for Martin Thomas on Facebook. Mr. E. <laughs> Mr. E, get it. Mr. E. Okay, go ahead. Get it. 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 Get it.